Meanwhile, in the depths of Candlekeep, Dalmay Locke finishes her story and looks up the dread worm Miram with wide eyes. The worm is not impressed. Is that all that you have? One measly story. N no, um, no, Your Excellence, your your wonderful wormitude. Uh, there, 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 there's many more, such as another book. Um, perhaps you want something with suspense, uh, where not everything is as it as it appears, and where one shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Go on, the dragon whispers. This one is called Masfroth's Mighty Digressions. <clears throat> and it starts like this. Hello, my name is David and I'll be your dungeon master tonight. I use him, he pronouns. Um, welcome everyone to today's game. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. I'm excited. I get to play. When was the last time that happened? Uh, Saturday. Sunday? <laughs> Sun oh, Sunday, Sunday. What did I play on Sunday? Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. What, did, what did I play on Sunday? <laughs> oh, that's right. I played Henri de Honk. I enter a, I, en I enter a fugue state when I play that character, so I don't know. That's true. I don't, <laughs> that explains I don't a lot. <laughs> uh, so, David, I, I have you down as way on the screen. Uh, but I am so happy to have you here running this game, dude. Like, I really am. Thanks for having me here. That's great. Uh, so, do you want us to introduce ourselves? Yeah. Go for it. I'll go first, and then we'll just kind of pass it down the row. Uh, so pass it down to the next person on the frame. Uh, hi, I'm Kelly. I'm normally the DM here, but today I am playing Richley Siebert Wanderfoot, the halfling monk. And uh, he's got a big heart and a bigger stomach, and I'm very excited to play this little coward. He's going to be great. Passing <laughs> it over to Robin. <laughs> That did I do that the right way? way? No, I you did it the wrong, wrong way, way, but it, but it was <laughs> It's backwards. There we go. Let's try it that way. Hi, everyone. I'm Robin. I am uh, I play a lot of characters here on Dork Tales, but tonight I am playing uh, my actually my first D&D character I created last like, when I started last year um, with Hayden. So this is I'm revisiting Alea Taupo, our half-elf druid of the sea. So I am super excited to play her again because I, I played her... First time ever is D&D, so it's like, ee. Um, And I'm going to toss the ball down to Kel. Hey, oh, I'll catch it there. <laughs> hey, I'm Kel, I live up the road, and uh, y'all saw me on Sunday night playing uh, Icky of Sticky and Icky fame, and <laughs> usually see me uh, alternate alternate Saturdays on Secrets of, Secrets of Hexeter House and alternate Sundays on Cyberpunk Spitfire. And I use she, her pronouns. And tonight I am happily playing a human. I'm playing a human. human Yay, rogue. humans. I know, human rogue. <laughs> and and her name is Breekly Sally Inspire. And she is, yeah, she's a, a rogue leaning towards in rogue inquisitive. So, so I can use all my actual, you know, criminology degree stuff. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. And then I am passing it over to my friend James. Hello there. I am James. And uh, you'll you see me around. I'm in the chat getting harassed about getting killed by Rainbow Dash often enough. Uh, I run by he, him pronouns. And uh, yeah, you also see me in uh, Cyberpunk Spitfire. And tonight I am coming in as uh, the group's broad-shouldered human barbarian from the from the Northern Isles. Uh, Wolfen is returned again to be his normal idiotic reaver self and probably get mulched by everything. It'll be great. Uh, anyway, I am passing it on to Natasha. Hello, I'm Natasha from Natasha Cheskovich Designs. I am playing Evelyn, uh, she, her, and um, I am a tabaxi wizard who is... Um, Ready to solve this mystery. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Well, welcome, everyone. Let's get started. So <clears throat> prior to this adventure, you were contacted by a client hoping to earn some easy and quite uh, rewarding gold. You've taken upon this task, and you were given a book, a book that, when opened, has some strange random scrawlings of characters that you've never recognized you've never seen before and you've been told to 
translate it and to find more information about specifically the subject of lycanthropy. You're pointed towards the most knowledgeable city in all of the Sword Coast, Candlekeep. And you have found yourself on the road towards the city of books. So, the adventure begins here. You've been traveling on the road for a good two days now. So far, fairly uneventful. Everything's been pretty quiet. Oh, man. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get pretty hungry. You're always hungry. Yeah, I was just going to say that. You're always hungry. What's wrong with being hungry? I burn a lot of calories. How do you burn what? so much calories? You're like this big. Listen, you listen. You were we'll... asleep an hour ago. There'll be some place to eat along the way. We'll find something. Like, haven't you ever heard of a cat nap? Cats well, are agile. Obviously. I prefer wolf naps, to be honest. <laughs> Ahead of you, you see another wagon carrying some other folks that uh, seems to be um, heading towards the, the same destination, but uh, it's coming up a little bit faster than you. And um, you figure that uh, might be good to get some companions to uh, travel with you on the road. And uh, after about just under an hour, um, you guys meet up and ride side by side. And this is when you realize that the other caravan is actually carrying a, a group of adventurers, much like yourselves. Um, one adorned in full plates, another seems to have a, a wizard's robe, and another one who looks like he's uh, hiding under a hood. Seems like uh, he doesn't quite want to show his face. Hmm. Um, but the armored one looks over to you with a with a wave of a friendly hand, he says, Ah, so I see that uh, your adventures as well. Where are you headed to? Yes, where I'm at. Um, we're, at... we're going to Candlekeep. <laughs> yeah, what, what he, he said. said. <laughs> Jinx. Jinx. Uh, he has a lot have to apparently like figure out something to do with a book or something. Ah, Candlekeep. Seems like... Uh, uh, a dangerous, dangerous adventure, and uh, he he says so with a with a hint of mockery, as uh, the wizard kind of stifles a laugh. Uh, he says, "I, I jest, I jest. We've uh, we're on our way north, just uh, past Candlekeep. Um, so, what? you got yourselves a job already? Yeah. yeah. What, what what's wait, wait. north of Candlekeep?" Oh, there's, uh, we're actually hoping to head towards Waterdeep. Oh! Oh! Nice. oh. Don't think so, I've been up that far. What, uh, what's on, what glory has you, have you brought to, uh, to yourselves? Oh. Well, um, I have adventured to other, I am told, dimensional places and, um, faced down a great book demon. That was quite an experience. What about the rest of you? What have you done? Seen the void. Oh, I'm, what? well, more in, in line with solving puzzles, riddles, <laughs> mysteries, those sorts of things. I've just a... left my commune to uh, start exploring the world, so I'm kind of fresh to this whole adventuring kind of thing. He uh, kind of laughs and says, well... <sighs> Take a take my word advice. Keep your eye on the rogue. And kind of like gives a grin to the to the hooded guy behind him. Keep your eye on the road. Your rogue. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Who's driving the, our cart? Definitely you. <laughs> oh God. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Have you seen the way he drives in games? <laughs> Actually, pretty good. Um, yeah. <laughs> like Cyberpunk. sure. We're just uh. Heading back to the city, we uh, we took on a uh, a lamia, a ways Ooh. back. Got a What's a lamia? Ah, uh, imagine a beautiful woman with a body of a snake. Man, half of that's really good. Yeah. Mm, which Got ourselves uh, 
some nice gold out of it. How did you defeat it? You've got to tell me more. Hmm. He uh, he brings out his his sword that seems like it's a two handed sword, but he like unsheaths it from his back with only one hand, and he says, "With this." And the wizard says, no, no, no. And he shows his book. He says, no, it was my fireball that took care of her. And uh, you can see the guy with, with the hood on. He's, he's rolling his eyes. And uh, before long, he says, well, uh, I hope you have your safe journeys. If there's anything, you too. maybe we'll uh, run into each other again. Yeah, and I'll be sure to watch the road. He, uh he laughs again and says, <laughs> all right, take uh, care now. And he, uh, That's a he uh, starts on the uh, reins and uh, his horse kind of scappers off a bit faster. But well, they seem like nice guys. Yeah, good information. They seem yeah. like real adventurers. What? We're real adventurers. Wait, I'm a real adventurer. I'm kind. Of, I'm just. I'm just getting into adventure. By your own admission, you have yet to prove yourself. I'm just yes. a cook. <laughs> uh-huh. And well needed on this journey. <laughs> As you guys are talking, you see the the beautiful cliff, with a magnificent city built upon it. The spires of castles and towers point to the sky. Like magnificent glaciers. Hmm. And this this is Candlekeep. Wow. Quite the image. They don't really compare to real glaciers though. Quite different than my small little Uh Have you actually seen real glaciers? Sorry, what was that? Have you actually seen like 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 real glaciers? Oh yeah, grew up under underneath them. Can you breathe underwater? I saw a Yeti. At a glacier, oh. but it wasn't actually a yeti. Yo, know, glaciers are above water. You're thinking icebergs. Icebergs are in the water. <laughs> well, yeah, but if it's floating in the water and you're living under it, then doesn't that mean that you're living? But no, if no, you're... like they, they kind of slide past my house. But how can you live in it if it slides past your house? Where you live? I live. I live. You lived under... in a mobile home. I grew but, up in a yeah, caravan no. too. I feel that. <laughs> totally. You are a quizzical little creature, you know that. Thanks. Oh, that's true. You're a, a a big thing. I am. Yes. Soon after, as uh, as you guys are kind of going back and forth, uh, you see one of the uh, the guards of Candle Keep. He uh, steps in front of the road, in front Whoa. of your path, and he says, "Entering water deep." Uh, I... No, uh, Candlekeep. Sorry, Candlekeep. Yes, I just came from there. Switch jobs. Yeah, the other guys uh, were like talking it. about it. Vicious. <laughs> you, uh, be- before you enter, you must, you must give a book, a unique book that uh, isn't a part of the library already. And uh, you were told this already by your clients, and uh, he's given you five bucks to give to Candle. To add to Candle Keep's library. Hmm. Now, from what I understand, I don't. I I, I I only have to give a book once because I've been in Candle Keep before. Right. Well, let me check your papers and I'll get back to you. The rest of you, do you have anything to give? Yeah, uh, right here. Book. Not this book. He uh, he takes it. Each of you hands him. He kind of looks over it. He uh, walks to another man and uh, he passes them off. Who? Checks the books for the contents. I've got a cookbook here. How to serve man. Yeah. Hey. Seems kind of dusty. Yeah, well, I, I took it from some cannibals. Oh. Suppose a book is a book. Uh-huh. And he uh, hands it off. You it's mostly cook from inspiration anyway. <laughs> you know, I just kind of let the stomach guide me. <laughs> You've never actually eaten a man, have you? What book did you give when you came here? Oh, I don't recall. It was uh, something. Uh, I'm not. I'm just gonna let it go that you didn't answer that question. I didn't I'm answer what question? Not. I the book was the cookbook. That's what I gave. Some things you don't want to know. No, no. I think we just move on. 
few minutes later, he returns. He says, everything's going. in order. Welcome to Candlekeep. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Sounds good. And uh, you guys are allowed in. Great. I'm honestly excited. I like I like reading like a lot. Hmm. Me too. Oh, this is gonna be another long one. I like learning different spells. Though usually they're nature based, but you know maybe I can learn mm. more about nature. You really think you can learn more about nature from a book? Well, other yeah. experiences, different environments. Go out there and experience them. It's far richer to see things with your eyes and your ears and your mouth. I think they're doing repairs. Hmm. What's going on? Where's that coming from? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Where are we going? Don't we have someone to meet? Uh, you were hoping to go to the library where you can check the archives of books and to uh, hopefully get some uh, a lead to uh, translating the, the book that you have with you. Library! Mm hmm. All right. Off. You go, and uh, you guys steal yourself for the arduous task of uh, looking through the endless shelves of the archives of Candlekeep. Some of you will enjoy this more than others, but um, let's have everyone do an investigation check. Yes, please. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, actually. And to remind everyone, oh, no. you all start with inspiration, and to use it, you oh, can and... gain a advantage on a attack roll, ability check, or saving throw, as long as you call that you are using it before you roll. Yep. We're using standard rules on inspiration, not the modified ones we use for my homebrew games. So. Right. Okay. All right. So, uh, starting with Kelly, what did you get? I got a 17. 17. Nice. I know, right? I feel and, pretty good about uh, this. Elia? Three! <laughs> Three. All right. <laughs> yeah. oh, Evelyn? Uh, 17. 17? Nice. Reclai? 18. 18? Even better. And Wolfen? Seven. 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 Oh. Welcome A to solid. the bottom, solid Wolfen. Answer. Let's go. <laughs> That's to be expected from the bottom. <laughs> All right. Uh... Wolf and I, I totally expecting you to come back with a book pierced by your dagger, and you're like, "This is what I found." <laughs> that poor book. All right, was it a um, mimic? So uh, mimics have feelings too, I don't especially know if when that's they're books. Fair. After about a um, an hour. You, uh, Evelyn, Breakly, and uh, Kelly. I can, uh, initially, what was that initially? Initially, right? You gotta change your name in Zoom. Yeah, that, oh, yeah that, sure. that'll help me. Um, right. You guys find a few books. Uh, initially, you find a book that uh, mm -hmm. archives old languages that's been lost and. Uh, you seem to find that only like one or two of the characters share similarities with some in the book that you are hired to translate. Reclai, you have found a book on uh, on um, Mistra and the magic, the weave. Uh, it talks about uh, how it interacts with lycanthropy. Ooh. And Devlum, you find a strange book. It's uh, seven inches wide, nine inches tall. It's bound in brown leather, and it's worn from ages past. The name of the book and its author, Mazfroth uh, Gether, are elegantly written in cursive with black ink on the first page. The care that's put into the front uh, front page, however, does not apply to the rest of the book's contents. The writing is messy, it's hasty, and it's as if that they scribble out all of their thoughts 
even though even faster than what they were thinking. Furthermore, not all, all of the pages match. It seems that whoever wrote this or happened upon it afterwards seemed to be adding more and more pages to it even after the book was bound. This is a mess. But nevertheless, you find some contents in it that uh, talks about Malar, the god of the hunt, and how they are responsible for lycanthropy, at least to some theorists. Mm. Masfroth disagrees with this theory, however, on the basis that not all lycanthropes are as evil as Malar is. Werebears, as an example, are generally good. Mm -hmm. This seems so, useful. With your three books, what do you tend to do? I want to have a look a little closer about this because it directly relates to the lycanthropy book, so let's see if it can help us translate a little bit. All right. Okay, so, like, what are we trying to do? We're trying to, like, solve lycanthropy? Well, not solve it, but we need to find out some more information to be able to translate this book. Maybe it has some secrets about lycanthropy. Maybe, maybe it'll tell us, you know, where it's come from. Gonna tell us how to kill them? Delver. Yeah, silver. Or fire. Or magic. You never know. There might be some way for people to control it or even cure it. Could be useful. It's a possibility. Because no one should be forced to turn into a wolf. They should only turn into a wolf if they choose to do it. Like I do. I agree. Richly, you know an awful lot about about how to kill lycanthropes. Have you ever eaten a lycanthrope? Oh, um... I don't think so. I mean... Uh, I've eaten, like, uh, some bear and some, like... Bear's good, yeah. Uh, some boar and rat. I've had rat lots of times. And, uh, I've had wolf once or twice when I was really, really hungry. And, um... So I bet I, eating a lycanthrope would be a story of legend for a cook. And then, yeah, totally. Uh, Good to know. That, mean, that would mean I'd eat a person, though, right? Like, I was going to say, wouldn't that just be cannibalism with extra I, steps? No, yeah. no, no. I, as, as soon as you become a, like a monster, like a lycanthrope, I don't, I don't think you can really be counted as human anymore. But like, you're, you're, but they turn back something. to human. Yeah, it, it no, said that right, right, themselves as humans. right in Evelyn's book, hmm. Evelyn. Evelyn. Evie. Evelyn? <laughs> yep. Well, Sorry. I choose to believe what I believe. But with the three books, you found a pretty good lead. Basically. You might, uh, after a few hours of uh, looking through it, reading through it, you figure, with the uh, permissions from the sages, of course, you uh, think it would be better to take the books to uh, maybe a tavern or an inn where you can group up. And, I like this uh, idea. and take notes together and cross-reference. Mm -hmm. Sorry, what's find. our actual goal again? Someone hired us to investigate lycanthropy? Uh, to, yeah, translate to translate a book. This book. Mm -hmm. to translate okay, a book. Okay, that's right, to translate the yeah. book. Okay, yeah. we have the book, we're trying to translate it, got it. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, so what do you guys choose to do? Head to a tavern or mm -hmm. oh yeah, tavern. Yeah. Any yeah. some place some where I can be distracted while these guys do their thing. You know, All they right. never said a little bit of, you know, ale helps with the creative juices. Sometimes I can help. use some creative juices. <laughs> yes. I can use some peace and quiet to look at these books. Okay, so you head off um, out of the archives and uh, carry the three books in tow on your way there. Um, who's got which books? I have all the, of the books. You have all the books? <laughs> oh. Excellent. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. You're passing through some uh, you, some sages on the road, some visitors, other adventurers, um, and keepers, just random citizen folks of Candlekeep. Hi, random and, citizen. Uh, <laughs> uh, they kind of give you, make a pers uh, persuasion roll. 
I'm hello. Yeah, ten. Let's see how they react. Ten. <laughs> they give you a nod and kind of gentle wave and carry on. Uh, I like them. They're nice. At some points through the roads, on the, through the busy streets, it's uh, getting a, fairly um, crowded. And uh, some people have to walk shoulder to shoulder. And Evelyn, uh, you feel something tugging at your, your book bag. I'm going to look down, investigate, I guess. Okay. You look down, you look, it's, you have your, your, I'm assuming you have a satchel. And uh, yeah. you, yeah, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. Check the contents. Everything seems Everything's to be. Everything's still there. Yeah, everything seems to be in order, and uh, yeah. I'm worried about a pickpocket now. I'm gonna keep yeah. stuff closer to me. Okay, you kind of hold the the book, a collection of books, closer to your chest, as you uh, hurry off to the tavern. As you uh, walk into a tavern, it's uh, fairly busy and uh, getting to about. Can I like insight roll or anything to see if I suspect anything? Sure. Yeah. What, what perception check? Let's see that something. I don't know what's appropriate there. Yeah, perception. Yeah, perception. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, you didn't quite catch whatever it was that uh, perhaps bumped you or caused that, that shift in your bag. Pick pockets. Yeah, you... <laughs> You'll also like counting your gold as well. Everyone, no, watch your pockets. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. Walk through the tavern doors. You're. Uh, it's fairly busy. You quickly find a table that uh, is empty, and you sit down. Um, Evelyn, I'm assuming you take out your books and start uh, doing your work. Uh, like one of the. We're gonna get around, notes. please, barkeep. Uh, just, just give us two. Just mm -hmm. two right from the get-go. That'd just be easiest. Barman uh, waves, understands what you're saying, and uh, quickly fetches drinks for you. And, uh... Yeah. Now this is a nice way of spending an evening in Candlekeep. Like, totally. Good books, good food. What else could you ask for? True. Agreed. A mystery based a on translating things, but... a language that we don't understand. Bryce? I, I barely understood half of that. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we do. Yeah. <laughs> what, Evelyn, what... as you take out the the book that you found, uh, Mazfroth's Mighty Dis uh, Digressions, it seems like the, the spine of the book has something extra on it now. A tail growing out of the spine. That's not normal, no. Well, that's a pretty gnarly bookmark. As you're holding it up to investigate this tale, the book begins to violently shake in your hand. It's it's flailing back and forth. The tail is whipping you in the face. And uh, suddenly, the book I've seen this before. Well, this changes. doesn't sound right. I would like everyone to roll for initiative. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> There's our mimic. <laughs> There's always a mimic. I know what my initiative mod is. What's an initiative mod in this game? Uh, Dex your dexterity Dex. modifier. Amy, I blame you. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Eh. Amy's like, I did fucking everything. <laughs> 13. Okay. Uh, let me. Do, 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 do. Yeah. And also drop it in the chat just to make it easier for, okay. uh, for David. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's good, yeah. So I got a 15, if it matters, so then... Uh, what's your, uh, what's your dex there? Uh, plus five. 15 too. Uh, you're gonna go first. You're dexterous. Right, you're a monk. You're like, dexterous. I do what I can! <laughs> I think, I think, uh, D&D Beyond accidentally, like, upped my stats a tiny bit too, so I might adjust them after this game. <laughs> That'd be like racial stuff that uh, you didn't account for. Yeah. Yeah, I think I gave them the stats with the adjustments, and then they gave me them again. So. Ah, uh, I see. Mm. That'll do it. But uh, hey, whatever. It's a one shot. <laughs> All right. We'll Ooh, deal. Seventeen. Uh, with the 
15. Um, oh, we... fuck, chat's reminding me. I have, um, like, comprehend languages or something, <laughs> which is not relevant to this battle, but I will mm -hmm. forget if I don't say it out loud <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Okay, Wolfen and Richley, uh, who has a higher dex? Uh, me. Uh, Richley. You just okay. call me Rish. I think I did, yes. Or Scruffy. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Okay, Ooh, so. Music. This... the book begins to violently shake in your hand its tail flailing back and forth and suddenly the the tails is reabsorbed into the book as it takes on this gelatinous transparent glow it turns into a luminous uh, sphere of ectoplasm roughly three feet in diameter mm -hmm. Um, starting with, uh, Alea. Seeing this, what do you do? Huh. Um, okay. Um, mm, I, is this a creature? It is. Cool. Um, I would like to cast poison spray as a cantrip. Um, Okay. To the extent the hand or creature, um, the creature must succeed in a constitution saving throw or take 1d12 poison. Uh, you have con 14. Excellent. And I believe I was given uh, a hurt them more DM yep. inspiration. I will use <laughs> yeah. that no. for advantage. Uh, that is a uh, con mm -hmm. save of 18. Darn, so that will not work then. Alrighty. The so. acid splash seems to splash on it, but no sizzling, no reactions whatsoever. The sphere just stands solid. All right. All right. Anything else? Um, and then uh, I think that's all I can do for this turn right now. Um, kind of, then she'll just kind of like whip out her quarter staff and get ready for the next round. Okay. Excellent. Next, we have uh, Richley. Oh, quick question. So I haven't yeah. played a monk before in 5e. Does a quarterstaff yeah. count as a weapon you use with dex, or does it have to be strength only? Because it uh, only it's, has versatile. It's strength only, unless if you're a monk. It counts as a monk weapon, and all monk weapons, Perfect. you can use your dex. Then I am going to be like, like, hey, is that a wear book? And I'm going to hit it <laughs> with, uh, I'm going to hit it with my... Uh, my quarterstaff, and then I'm going to follow up with a martial arts uh, kick. Okay. Okay, that is... Well, the, the kick is not a hit, but the uh, the quarterstaff is a 20. Unnatural. Unnatural 20. That'll definitely hit. Okay. And that's max damage. That's going to be 11 Ooh, points nice. of damage. Bludgeoning. Nice. 11 points, yeah. You kick in the side. The, the sphere seems to absorb your kick and uh, deform a little bit. Uh, anything else? Your next attack? Uh, I am going to... I mean, that's gonna be... That's gonna be it for me, actually. I'm just gonna be like, Hey! <laughs> that's what I got. That's what I got right okay. now. Okay. <laughs> just freaking out. Wolfen. <laughs> Wolfen's gonna bellow out, Why is it always bloody books? And I'm gonna uh, pull out uh, my sword and axe and uh, just lay into the thing. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, the, everyone else around you starts to scream and, and head towards the exit. Which we will have some uh, fight yeah, music. Yeah, fair enough. It actually loads my fight music. Actions. <laughs> uh, I have a 14 and a 6. Uh, the 14 hits. Hmm. Uh, the 14 is going to hit for 12 damage. 12 damage, all right. Okay. Yeah, you hit it with your uh, your battle axe, and uh, you seem to cleave it about a, a few inches deep, and you slide your axe back, leaving a, a string of ectoplasm between you and this strange sphere. Ooh. Anything else? Uh, nope. I probably uh, no. I'm just basically gonna basically close range with it, 
as as much as I can. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm not one for shying away. Excellent. So next on the list is uh, Evelyn. We could be friends. We don't have to fight. Books are some of my best friends. I would like to... Um... I mean, like... I don't know, is... I would like okay. Can I witch bolt this, or is that like a range thing? Uh, y- you are you know? kind of like within uh, melee range of it, so your attack is going to be at disadvantage. Uh, but you can certainly try. Can I use a dagger instead? For sure. Yeah. Would that be more effective? Uh, okay, let well, me do that. I'll just yeah, dagger go it. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. Ew. Um, eight to hit. An eight. You uh, you take your you dagger and you try to uh, let go of it and, and shank it right on the side, but uh, unfortunately, it seems to just float right to the side of the blow, narrowly avoiding the hit. Gosh darn it! Anything else you would like to do? Um, no, I'm good. Okay. Tosh, don't ever, uh, don't also, also, because this is your first time playing a caster. Don't forget that you sometimes have bonus actions that bonus action spells. So just make sure that not to forget about those because they're pretty rad. I don't know if I have any. Eh, just check. Uh, Breakly, it's your turn. Okay, uh, I'm going to use my my rapier and try to attack it. Okay. And uh, is it is it ranged or how close am I? Uh, you're oh, across no, the table. No you're about uh, uh, you're about five feet away. Okay, all right. I do get, uh, and we're considered melee, correct? Uh, yep. Okay, I get a plus four to hit on this one. So, oh yeah, dirty twenty-one. Ooh, Ooh nice. so dirty. <laughs> Mm. Can you get a nat 21? <laughs> well, you know. That's when the DM shooting. starts questioning the dice. <laughs> I, I, I could. I'd have to, I'd have to, make that, I'd, I'd have to create that dice special. Where did you buy those dice? <laughs> that's, a, that's a d30 right there. <laughs> uh, okay, I've got a five there for damage. <laughs> okay, and what did you use to... Uh, to... Uh, that's the rape here. The rapier, right? Five damage. Okay, excellent. You stab it with the rapier, and uh, seems to bleed a little uh, ectoplasm onto the ground. Anything else? No, oh, that's all I'm able to do in one chance. Okay, leaving it up to the chance. monster now. This uh, floating, weird, strange, glowing orb. Uh. Uh, looks to around and uh, looking towards uh, Richley. Ah! It uh, the orb floats towards you. You feel this this attraction towards it. You you feel like your soul, your 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 energy, your being drawn to it. And everyone else can see this this ghostly visage coming out of his face. Like not again. Sucked into it, and it does a sixteen hit. Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. No. Ooh, Dang. fancy monkey over there. All right, yeah, you are. Like you are that, able to resist it. That's my soul, you bully book. G- right. Give it, give it back. G- 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 <laughs> Mr. Ayla. Or, sorry, Alea. Alrighty, so I'm uh, seeing as my cantrip didn't work. I'll do a different cantrip. I'm going to bonus action Shalele on my quarter staff, and Excellent. then I will attack said thing with okay. my quarter staff. All right. Do I give. I'm going to give the extra life die a chance to redeem itself. Never from do its past it. Never do it. Atroci- mm. Atrocities. Mm. Um, okay, that's not bad. Does a 15 hit? A 15 does hit. Good job, extra life die. 
D8, where are you? D8. Do to do to do to do. There we go. <laughs> that was that was spectacular there. Um, that's gonna be six points of what damage does that do? Bludgeoning damage. Okay, magical bludgeoning. Yes. Excellent. Six points. No! <laughs> she bats it with her staff. Yeah, this uh green burst of magical energy explodes from your staff as you strike it true and strike it hard. Nice. Anything else? Um, that is it. Okay. And going down the list to Richly. Like, I don't like you. I'm gonna send you back to the lending library. I'm gonna grab my quarter staff and I'm gonna let loose. Uh, so that is a, that was a tip, hold on, uh, that's a 19, a 13, and I'm gonna spend a key point and do a flurry of blows. Okay. Uh, flurry of blows, does that just, is flurry of blows just my normal attack again? Uh, it's an unarmed attack. It's one extra unarmed attack with your bonus. Looks like, is it, it says one key point to take two as a bonus action. But you only yes. you get you get martial so, arts as a bonus action already, right? Exactly. So you replace yeah. you're replacing your normal one bonus with two okay. bonus. So then one that extra. did hit. Yeah. So I've got a D eight and a D four that got above fifteen. Uh yeah. They both hit. Okay. Um So the first is going to be a two handed quarter staff hit for fourteen. Uh nice. And the next is gonna be a martial arts hit for three. And I do a, I don't add my strength or dex to that, right? You do. Oh, and martial arts attack still? Yep. Oh, damn, monks are broken. I love them. Uh, that's going to be another eight points of bludgeoning damage as I... Yeah! Wow. Oh, All right. Your first attack with your staff, you hit it. It seems to reel back uh, in what you can only assume to be pain. Uh, your second hit, how do you want to do it? Uh, I think it's just going to be like, you know, I'm just going to kick it in the orbs. Yeah. <laughs> It uh, shrivels a little bit and then falls flat onto the ground. <laughs> oh, it's. I keep telling everybody the books mean are, are not. There's no good that comes from these books. Just, just demons they just they keep coming back again and again. Don't throw the books out with the bathwater. Why would I? What? What does that even mean? As the orb slowly deflates it uh it seems to turn into a, a very thin liquid and seeps through the floorboards and uh no book that uh it once had the form of remains where'd it go did did we just slay the book we we're supposed to decode yeah was this the that book or was this one of the ones we got from the library this is the one that you got from the library. Okay. Like, oops. Sorry. I guess I don't know my own strength. Oh, Dang, that one wasn't your punch has disintegrated it. I can't, you know, it, um... <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, um... You definitely know that uh, the conditions of you taking the book was to keep it in its original condition. And, um... The guards... Probably won't be too pleased. And this is when three guards that burst into the tavern. I, 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 the guys play cool. What's going on here? I'm gonna shove all the books we have left back into nothing, my bag. Nothing. We just, nothing. At we just all. faced down a book demon and slew it. Oh. Shit. What? I've done it before. It's not a big deal. What? Where did the book come from? S someone gave us a demon. Yeah. It came from the library. We just oh. slew it here, and it seeped the, down through the floor. The and there were tons of witnesses. You can have an eye on the The library. It said. wasn't a demon in the library. I I have faced book demons before. That was a book demon. Yes, but that's not what we took from yes. the library. Uh, I thought all, all, all these books are kind of hard to keep track of. It, well, I mean, that, 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 mm -hmm. like, 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 so that, look, like, this like, one's brown the, with gold text, and this one's brown with bronze text. They're completely different. Well, exactly. I'm going to teach you all sorts of things about the d d d Dewey Decimal System. They're the same book. 
You see the, uh, one of the guards kind of whisper something into the, the other guard's ear. And all you can hear is uh, a, a faint another one. All right, five of you, come with us. Have you seen this before? Everything yeah, will be are explained. Are bugs constantly turning people? Like, that doesn't seem this, right. It's not common It doesn't seem like a town I'd want to stay in if the books are attacking. Like, um, are we in trouble? You'll know soon enough. This I'd way. Like, I'd like to know. Oh, that's one of the guards ominous. holds the door open, just eyeing you to exit. We didn't even get to eat. Our fault it was it was a demon. Actually, you know what? You're you're right. And I'm gonna actually like reach over and start collecting some food off of what either our table or other tables nearby. Because <laughs> yeah, people well, ran away. There's gonna be food left. Everyone ran away. This, it's half oh, food true. all over the tables. I'm just gonna pick up some food for the for the go and a mug of beer. Why not? Yeah. All right. I just had a fight. I'll have a beer. It's like my dad saying, "Here, put as, this in your purse." As you count. take the mug of beer and walk <laughs> out, you can hear a faint, uh, sheepish voice come from behind the counter, and he says, "The, the mug needs to uh, st- oh, just, uh. I'll add mug to my inventory. All right, <laughs> go for it. They, uh, it's a heavy oak mug. Did we? Perfect. Did, did we pay for a meal? Or we did didn't get that far. Uh, you you, that. you paid for your drinks. You never ordered meals, so. Uh, if I'm going to drink pay, my drink as quickly as possible yeah. as, we, as we leave. Yeah, yeah down it before we so leave. So I'm just going to be like... Yep. <laughs> Such a halfling. Such hold a on, halfling. hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'll just slightly sip it gladly, just yeah. like... A mug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm feeling refreshed. Let's go. You guys can deduct uh, two silver. from. Two, uh, oh, God. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I've got eight silver left. <laughs> Monks do not start out with much money. No, they do not. They rely on alms. Well, it depends <laughs> on the background, I guess. So I got a double right. check that I have to sell her. Hold on one second. <laughs> if I keep going. <laughs> keep oh, you do, you do, you do. If do not, I'll throw a couple for you. Okay. Feel bad. So you're brought to... Was, you can only be assumed to be uh, the, the guard's watch as um, you see someone who's uh, robed, much like uh, the sages do. You recognize them. Uh, passing by on the streets and stuff. Um, there seems to be a sage waiting for you. And uh, as you enter, he shuts a book, turns over his shoulder and says, Ah, I was told that you were, ran into one of those monstrous books. Yeah. Yes. How yes, often is this shocking. happening? He uh, stands at a large, heavy table and he says, Well... This is, we've had attacks from, reportedly, books from the last three weeks. And they're not just paper cuts? No. Much more severe, unfortunately. Wow. Cardboard cuts? I'll, I'll explain everything. When I read Wars and Pieces, that felt like an attack from a book. Hmm. You see... We've run into some unfortunate fatalities from these books. Fatalities. The other but two I books. Was as lucky. There were other, two other books. There was a book that was checked out called The Dark Hunger, and another Fallen Tethyrmar. I don't know anything about Teflon, but I think that, like, Dark Hunger is something that I'd want to read. Sorry, Fallen Tethyamar? Fallen Tethyamar. Yeah, the Fallen Tethyamar does sound ominous. The Dark Hunger. Is that a place? or Dark Hunger? Yeah, it's in your stomach, buddy. No, it was about a king named Gelan who who sought to reclaim his kingdom in the Desert Mouth Mountains. I wouldn't expect you to know this. Like the what? The what mountains? The Death Mountains. Death oh, okay. Mouth Mountains. Oh, Death Mountains. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a great place to the visit. De- the Death Mouth that Mountains or the glorious. Death Mount Mountains? <laughs> what king? Uh, King Dwarf King Gellin. G H E L L I N. Gellin. I don't expect you to 
know about these books. Just that the last three weeks, there have been repeated attacks. Is this there any the connection between the three books that were... That's what we're trying to find out. Hmm. And from what the other sages tell me, you ventured Kendall Keep with a mystery of your own. Yes, we have. A translation of a book, I hear. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything about it? I don't, but perhaps we can reward you with some extra work if you can hand if you can help Candle Keep. Is the extra work more books? It is a Does it pay well? That's helmet. what matters. books? He takes he puts a hand over a <laughs> um He puts a hand over a, a book that's or a, a helm that seems like uh it's made of metal it's, it's kind of ironish with emerald uh gems set into its eyes and he slides the helm in front of him uh you guys can all roll arcana if you want to see if you know about these type okay. of helmets <laughs> okay <laughs> this will be funny why don't you roll a nat 20 james i have a super high arc Oh, oh, there we go. Uh, That's a dirty. Apparently, thing. I know armor. Um, oh, I got a yeah. fourteen. That's not 14. bad. Okay. Mm. Eleven. Eleven. Eighteen. Eighteen. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Alea and Breeklai, you guys know about this. Six. Sweet. Six. Alea and Breeklai, you've heard of these these helmets that, when you don them, you can you can cast comprehend languages from Ooh. them. Even. For non magic users? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Um, also, as I mentioned before, I have comprehend languages, but I haven't got a chance to oh. use it yet. Okay. There you go. He says if you can investigate these these attacks and where these books originate from. Look at that, it saves me a spell slot. You can have cattle keep will gift you with this wow. and dinner. I'm sorry, is and one helmet or like one helmet each? One helmet and one dinner or like like Fair. a dinner each or like 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 multiple it's dinners each. Uh, roll eat persuasion. The helmet. Eh, nine, nine. You drive a hard bargain, but free dinners for all of you. That's most hey. generous. Wow. Well done, Very Rishley. kind of you. Once again, you prove your worth as a companion. The best kind of cook is one that doesn't have to cook. <laughs> <laughs> that seems a bit... When you're the cook, I agree. I, I can't disagree with that. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a really good cook. I don't know what you're talking about. I've Maybe. never complained about your cooking. No, but she just did, and like... like uh, I'll try to use some more catnip yeah, next used, time. She's she's used to fish. You don't really cook with a lot of fish. She's used to fish. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're near the coast now. I could go fishing. I, I, just, I just need a stick oh, and man. some twine, and I can go out there and do that. I know a lot about the fish. I can help you fish, too. As you were talking over about dinner, he slides a, a large tome in front of him. Ooh. And uh, you see that this tome has uh, indexes, lists of people who have entered Candlekeep. And what book they brought with them. Oh, cool. As their entry fee. Oh, interesting. Hmm. So Evelyn, like, what, what the heck is this? Says, perhaps this, this will help you find the people who brought the, the books into Candlekeep. Yes, it's, it's a log of everyone oh. who's come in and what books they've brought with them. Yeah. If we, hmm. find, if we find the books that have been... Uh, or who uh, left the books? Who brought them? We mm -hmm. it, yeah, we might be able to figure out who's brought them if they're related to each other and why they turned into monsters. Yes. You see that right. the uh, the names of uh, the the or the owners of the books, the previous owners of the books uh, who entered Candlekeep, uh, they've already looked that up, and okay. the two names that. Uh, Highlighted. 
are magical uh, highlights. Yeah, exactly. They they they've got sparkles around them. <laughs> yes, Ooh. fairy magical fire sparkles. around them. Fairy fire, if you will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the two names what I use are Yalerion High Scroll mm. and uh, a, a certain character mm. named Valor. I actually have a player character named Valor. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> So Yalerion High Scroller? Uh Yalerion High Scroll. High Scroll. And just Valor. Right. And just Valor. Got it. Wait, wait, wait. There's someone with just the name Valor. Just just Valor. Yeah, you're probably gonna be good yeah. friends with him. Like Cher. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <sighs> or like See, the Prince. Is he still going by that? Or is it just like Oh the, no, he's not pr he's not the prince anymore. Oh, he's he's, he's the regent formerly. Formerly. Oh, yeah. yeah, there was a oh, scandal. Yeah. I know I heard about it. His purple mm. rain. Oh yeah. Yeah. Messed what up. What an his ecological library, disaster. Else. Right? Mm. <sighs> there was so bad that like the doves would cry. Oh, much sadness. <laughs> it's a horrible sound. <laughs> So you're told exactly where Yalarian High Scroll and Valor are, and you can choose to uh, whichever one to go to first. Where are they? I would like to try to decode the book that we're originally trying to decode. Uh, he doesn't give you the helmet yet. He says oh. he'll reward it to you after. I think she was going to use to comprehend languages on her own. God damn it! I'll use my own spell slot then. Fine. Okay. Uh. You use your own spell slot to cast Comprehend Languages, and uh, the book seems to uh, talk about um, an ancient curse that was cast upon um, a murderer. This curse was theorized to come down from the gods themselves as a punishment and it talks about how uh the weave itself wept to this curse and would follow the bloodline until the end of time the weave wept mm. the weave yes the weave is the background magic that makes magic possible just think like the tapestry and mage the ascension if you remember yeah. that far back in gaming history, anyway. Ooh. Okay, so who was it who originally hired us to translate that book? Uh, his name oh, was uh, Shaleron. Shaleron? Okay, so should we, like, contact him and be like, hey, we got your book? Uh, how would you contact him? How did we contact him in the first place? In person. Uh, okay, so where is he? I take it not in Camp Keep. No. Also, hi, Raid. Hello. Uh, Hello, everyone. Oh, okay. Okay, so basically, as long as we can remember that, our original mission is already fulfilled. We just need to yep. get it to me. Like, we we still got to do this other thing to stay out of trouble, right? And to get, like, our money? Oh, we got to protect the books! We make more money if we help them. And they feed you. Like, yeah, I'm at negative, negative two silver right now because I had to borrow from Bre from Breakly. Oh, don't worry about it. By the way, Sweet. I literally start with one silver on this character. <laughs> the background gives you one silver piece that you're supposed to use to punch oh. werewolves. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, you don't spend so that money. I got you, boo. I got you. <laughs> it's okay. We'll go oh. catch some fish. Like, thank you. You guys are the best friends I've ever had since when. Since friends? what? Aww. You didn't eat your friends, did you? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he didn't. I'm I'm a little nervous now. What? Uh, no, I'm. Um, everything's fine. Oh, hmm. don't be nervous. Look at how scrawny he is. He's not. That's okay. Good. Your scrappy little friend wasn't much fun to hang around with, anyways. Anyway, let's go find this Valor person. That sounds that sounds like a glorious person to go meet. Yeah, let's go see right. what they have to say about Valor staying books. at uh, the local inn, and uh, she seems to have rented a room, which uh, you can definitely go. 
Wait, Val that's, Valor's that's a sheep? Why are they paying us for this? Like, this is quite simple. I don't know. Oh, whatever. Let's don't head over. question it. So it's, is it the inn at Candlekeep that she's staying at? Yeah. Like, her name's Valor. Do you think that she's, like... I, I don't know. Like, like heroic? Or, or just kind of hot? Well, she either deserves it or she doesn't. Let's, Let's go find out. her witch. Well, yeah, don't we'll just don't go try ask to some questions. We'll find out. Don't try to give it to her, okay? Give what? What she stole. Why would I, I give her something that, that she stole? Stolen anything? You said that she stole the. Vi oh no, it's okay. Well, if she stole the book, we'll just go and chit chat. Her ex her. is gonna give it to her. Look, she brought in a demon book. Well, maybe I she's mean, a cultist. Maybe it's all a lie. Maybe maybe we have to fight her. Maybe we I could take the Valor, Valor maybe name. Maybe her ex will deliver it to her. Knock, knock, open up the door. You know, stop waiting. That's a good literally, plan. Literally, literally knock, knock on the door, yeah. actually. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you knock on the door, and uh, you hear a, a voice on the other side. She says, one moment. And uh, as she opens the door, a shadow looms over you. Behind the silhouette, you oh, see the sh is. the glow of the sun shine bright on the other side of of her and the window behind her. She is a towering six foot eight tiefling. Oh wow! Hello. With a permanent scowl on her face, mm. she looks down at you and says. Big woman. Are you room service? Unfortunately Thank not. No, we were hoping we could talk with you for just a couple of minutes about the book that you brought with you. Yeah, the demon book. Huh. Oh, Come in. Yes, it sadly turned out to be a demon. Thank you. She Thank turns you. around to uh, invite you in. You can see that uh, her shoulders, you can see the de defined shapes of her shoulders and her forearms. She's definitely someone not to be trifled with. She has some scars around her neck and her cheek. She's definitely seen some some battle. But she also stands quite uh, quite tall, quite uh, proper, straight. Uh, definitely an in the, in the indication of military. Hmm. Interesting. Your name's actually Valor. Hmm? It was given to me by my parents. Is that like short yeah, for names. Valerie or just Valerie? Oh, what's your last name? Just Valerie. Your parents didn't have a last name either. I think it's a cultural thing. For a it's rude to ask people where well, they come everybody from. Everybody ha has a last you just name. Ask oh, them, okay. Ask them about their last name. I guess like the real question name. is, do you deserve the name? You care oh. to find out? Yeah, he Don't does. Mind. He was saying that the entire way over. Don't yeah, yeah. Him. He can he can start a he can she, start uh, a she oh, no, no, no. In the back, You've got some the most impressive later. scars there. I will that's all she uh, leans over, grabs uh, her um, bedside uh, desk, and with one hand just pulls it over. You can hear the screechy on the ground oh. as it goes as uh, she sits on the bed. Motions for you to grab the chair on the other side. Leans her elbow on the table. Sure. I'll go over and sit down. Oh man, a furniture moving contest. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Her hand forms a ball. And you can see the veins start popping Don't worry, I'll invite you the next time I move. Alright. Sounds good. Let's... <sighs> Alright. You cup her hands in yours and roll athletics. Ha <laughs> ha! So 17 here. 17 here. Oh, we roll. Oh. My money's on she, the She line. eyes you, Ooh. and <laughs> you can see a furled uh, smile on the on the corner of her lips as she begins to to gain respect for you. I gotta make a name for myself as well. Hmm? All right. What's your second roll? 13. Uh, not as high as that i got a 12. with some strain she you can see the veins start to like almost <laughs> explode from her bicep 
and she slowly it's not one of those instant wins but she slowly yeah. curls you down and without a sound you can feel the table on the back of your hand oh <laughs> that was good that was good he <laughs> massages her muscle and says well you're deserving of the name too if if you ask me <laughs> like was that a proposal is that how they do it no no just just this, this is how this is how wolfen makes friends this is how wolfen makes friends yeah i know this I is how a friend makes right friends what are you here for <laughs> wolfen was it yeah that's right well, did you know your book was a monster i was told this uh was told Wait, not before to leave or after Kennedy. you brought it after after the text uh, where'd you get it uh, where, did, where did the book come from um all right, they're gonna ask you kinda, as, as you as you begin to kind of interrogate her she kind of looks up at you guys uh the two of you who who asked roll persuasion wolfen you you get a sense that uh you probably have uh you know gained some respect from her so if you wanted to help out or if you wanted to ask yourself you you probably you might do what gonna do be a 21 for me for 21. persuasion all right. I'll, I'll kind of nod to be like supportive of whatever. Okay. She's yeah. Definitely. Persuasion. She she smirks and uh, 12. 12. 12 for persuasion. So what was the question, Alea? Which one was yours? Uh, mine was where to, where did you get the book? Where did it come from? Yeah. Same. I same question. Purchased the book from the wide, in uh, the upper city of Baldur's Gate. Hmm. I don't remember. Which which stall exactly? It's quite a mess up there. Yes. I didn't want to stay in the wide for too too long. So just from a from a bookseller in the in the wide. It's okay. if if I was to give a more details, I would say that I must admit it wasn't the most reputable of market stalls. Hmm. Did you open it? Like, did you, like, did you just, did it just become a monster when you gave it to the library? Like, did you open it and actually read the book before you gave it to Candlekeep? I tried. I gave an earnest mm. attempt. It uh, talked about some, it was scribbles, incom incomprehensible scribbles. And the only thing that I remember from it was a name, Hadar. Okay. That name sounds familiar. Hadar. Does uh, that if, name ring any bells for my if, character? Uh, if, if you did want to attempt to remember or uh, see if your character does know, uh, roll Arcana. I will ask, I will roll an Arcana. That's a uh, because three. Because I am high on that. 17 Ten. for Arcana. 17, <laughs> 10. Same, 17. Something I have a plus seven Alea. arcana. Yeah. <laughs> Wolfen, no? Oh, no, no, I'm good. No? Okay. <laughs> Alea and Brickly, you have heard rumors of this name. Um, it, it points to a powerful yet inscrutable entity that lives among the deep stars. Is what? All that you've come across. It's almost like a legend. Does it have any... Um, from that role, would it have knowledge of any sort of connection to lycanthropy at all, like moons or anything like that? There's nothing, nothing that seems to stand out. Okay. That uh, between the two. In the deep stars. In the deep stars. Hmm. It was about name, thirteen days ago our... that I arrived here. How long ago did you buy the book? Oh, uh, must have been uh, 20 days ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So did you buy it specifically just to come to Candlekeep? Like, was it just an, an offering? Uh, she says that and honestly, it was the cover was pretty. Mm, okay. It was pretty, wasn't it? Okay. Until it tried to kill us. <laughs> Do 
you remember anything else? Was there an author's name or any other names inscribed in the front pages as to what who, language was who it, it might have been long to? It seemed like it was uh, common, but uh, like I said, most of the notes were were illegible to me. Mm. No names in the in the front of the book where any inscriptions as to whom it might have belonged to previously. The, uh, she shakes his head. No, mm. and no author name on the spine or anything. Just not that I could see. Okay, okay. That covers all the questions I would have had. Well, thank you for your time. Yes, that's you've been nods. most appreciated. Very forthcoming with your information. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. So, like this bookseller. The one who sold you the book? It wasn't like actually like a hag or something, right? A uh, hag? Not that I know of. Okay, just checking. You can't be too sure. Cause you're Why do you ask? I don't know. Cause like, Especially? like uh, yeah, sometimes they like 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 they like masquerade as nice old ladies, and then they kind of like they scoop you up and they put you in the pot, and then you're in this pot, and it's a big pot, and it starts to get really hot, but you don't really notice yeah. it because they they do it really 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 slowly, kind of like with frogs, and then you gotta escape the pot, and then there's this big hag who's all like, <laughs> it's not good. I think what he's asking is, it wasn't Seems someone sure. who may have seemed to be really nice, but was secretly lying to you in order for you to get the books so that you would then cause trouble here? If it was, then I would have been fooled, but I wouldn't know mm -hmm. either way. <sighs> cool. Thank you for thank you for telling us everything about it. It's most appreciated. Also, you okay, Rishley? Yeah, yeah, I'm just a little hungry. I still haven't eaten. My glycemic index is starting to crash a little bit. My blood sugar is a little low. Oh, well, maybe, maybe we should pop downstairs and get you a, a, a hand pie or something. On yeah, the way out. a muffin or something. Mm. A hand pie? Oh, when you no, bought no, no, the book. No, no, a hand pie. You did know, they one of know you were coming to Castle pies. Keep? No, I didn't mention it to them, no. That's kind of weird. How did we get three of these here if they didn't even know you were coming? I mean, it could be just a coincidence, but I don't think it's that. Well, given the number of books that are in the Candlekeep Library and the number of people who do come to Candlekeep, but three and in one are week. Expected, in one week, it seem it, it is odd. That is that is more than more than coincidental. Seems the number itself is not as coincidental, but yes, in in such a short time frame, mm -hmm. that is intriguing. Okay. All right, let's hunt down the next the next person who dropped off the yes. book. Yeah. Well, like, Yelarion. And, that's and like... we'll stop and get Rishley a snack. Okay. Yeah, you guys uh, head downstairs and uh, grab some food. Like one meat pie, please. <laughs> With extra pie. Uh, five silver. <laughs> I'll throw over the five silver. Like, I promise I'll pay you back. I know, you're good for it. You cook for us. It's Bray, Bray, you can't keep, like, coddling him like that. Oh, uh, you know. I'll do three. You can do two, Bree. Fair. Like, I'm, you two I'm... never pay for my food. Uh, it's because you're full of money. <laughs> And he's nicer usually. <laughs> well, I, I'm perfectly friendly. Well, monk. He, is a, he is a monk. I mean, this is like aestheticism and, and meditation are my mm -hmm. stock and trade. Plus, uh, you know, I suppose he is kind of pitiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that one. Oh, <laughs> I'm just take the pie. With you, like, your pity is totally accepted, man. <laughs> oh. There's no compunctions about eating pity pie. <laughs> All right, well, let's go find the second person. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit better. Where's this other guy? Uh, this other guy seems to be uh, staying at a... Um... At a house that's uh, local in Candle Keep, um, it was reported to be one of his friends' uh, place that uh, they've gone away for travel. That uh, he's looking after. Oh, that's lucky. 
see a no, luck, lucky's in the chat a uh, a fairly nice uh, ornamental door with an ornamental uh, knocker it uh, seems to be a a book that's opened that you can close and knock by closing the book oh man what what a lovely knocker it's like kind of like what was the term someone used it before gauche is it is it gauche to have something like that you what? shut oh. your mouth this is a work of art <laughs> yeah what's wrong Wolf? Think, you don't i Wolf? think the term is bougie actually is it too big bougie bougie like, like, do you not know. like fits, knockers, Wolfen? It fits with the aesthetic in the in the place. I usually like my knockers smaller, to be honest. Do they not have knockers where you come from? Do they not have no. books where Something you like come from? Something like that, we'd, we'd pry it off and go sell it. Um, now that's no, ghost. No, there are no books where I come from. I mean, like... yeah. I have nothing. There's nothing wrong the with Shay selling Isles. knockers, it, but like books are not something we we we, we prying it take off like to, that. except for the scribes. In fact, I this feel so knocker. I'm sorry for you. You could probably sell it for seven gold easily. Well, that thing's worth no. seven gold. No. Yeah. No. Hey. Wolfen. Hey. No. Wolfen. Hands off those knockers. Wolfen, I will charm you to make you stop. <laughs> he I has will, already I will knocked, charm by person the way, you. Too. Yeah. Someone, as you're like getting your but tools it's out, right there. the door it's opens, not even just hanging out there. It's the no. middle of the day. You see a uh... like we're all like on him like yeah. <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> standing, and I'm standing, standing there with a dagger in there waiting for somebody to open the door to this. You see a uh, uh, mid twenties uh, human male. Uh, he seems well dressed. He sees a, a dagger pointed right at his nose as he opens the door, and he slowly closes it. No, oh, no, 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 sorry, no, sorry, sorry, oh. sorry. Oh, oh let's just make it easier. Them. <laughs> Wilson! No, Wilson! He says, are you here to mug me? Not at all. Not no. in the least. I, no. I'm, I'm so sorry. There was We're a little here to bit talk of about books. discussion going on. Are you here to sell books? Or No. No, we had a question about the book that you brought with you for, for entry. Yeah, it's a uh, monster. A, a demon book. Yes, I, I was unfortunately told about that. Um, Can we talk? Yes. Uh, weapons away first and come in. Of course. It's only well, polite. Then. What? Weapons oh, this away. is not a weapon. Put oh, it in your on. pocket. It's my eating knife. Put it knife. in your pants, Wolfen. Are you eating right now? Put it nope. in your pocket. It goes in a sheath, Bree. Sheath it? And put Even it in you your know pocket. that much. <laughs> He, uh, right. put the knife away. As you as you walk in, it's it's a very nice uh, home, uh, low noble. You you would guess uh, the man Yalarian himself though seems to be he seems to wear some acolyte robes. Uh, seems to be a religious man of some sort. Um, he has a uh, a symbol on on the back embroidered into his robe. Um, do we recognize what symbol yeah, it is? Yeah, it's the it's a symbol of uh, a scroll. Oh. Uh, do we know what order he's with? Yeah, does that uh a silver scroll a on a thing? chain as a necklace. Mm -hmm. Uh sorry, he he's wearing a silver scroll on a chain as a necklace. Mm -hmm. Um you guys can roll uh, religion to see if you recognize this role. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, I'm a halfling. I found religion. Aha! Love. That one turned into a five. <laughs> I did not take Your religion. Your dice are not... You have the Amy curse tonight, yeah. Kelly. I'm using my well, reincarnated dice. Oh, it's not 12, though. You got a 12? 24. Nice. Yeah. 24, yeah. I got an 11. <laughs> 11. Uh, Evlem and Breekly, you know him... You know this god to be Ogma. Also known as the Lord of Knowledge. Oh, Ogma, very excellent lord. Mm. Ah, I'm glad to have your approval. He says, so, you come here with questions. Yes, yeah, just basically about uh, where you found this book, if it was yours originally, or where you acquired it, and the circumstances and provenance of it. Uh, yes, I do remember about th uh, three, ten days ago, it must have been, mm -hmm. I had 
traveled through Baldur's Gate on my way to Candlekeep. And uh, in Baldur's Gate, I met a friend in the a upper city. A shifty merchant at a stall? Well, in the wide? I, exactly, yes, in the wide. Oh I mm. you know, wouldn't describe them as shifty, but they certainly were curious Less characters. Less than reputable? They were one of the less decorated stalls. Hmm. I... Bit of a fly-by-night operation, selling murderous books. It's so kind Perhaps, of like a pop, they... like a like a pop-up shop. Well, they seemed nice enough, and Everything they the seemed to have some <laughs> rare books. To be honest, hmm. I I picked up. Uh, Masroth's mighty di digressions from the market stall there. Uh, the stall had a name. Um, I, I can't seem to recall, but I do remember the name oh. Dune in Dune. it. Doom? Dune. 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 Like a sand uh, dune. Like, exactly. totally. For some reason, that one's, that reminds me. We need to Did pick up some spices. Did you tell them you were coming to Candlekeep when you bought the book? Oh no, it was simple in exchange. I, I picked out the book and they sold it to me. It was quite quite quick. I did not want to stay in mm. the wide for, for too long. It was uh, it's, it was noisy and a little hectic for my liking. I prefer to spend my time among the books, as they, they would say. Fair enough. Makes so, sense. um... Where did Out of you... character... Oh, sorry. Yep. Go ahead. Is the wide a market? What is the wide? Yeah. Uh, roll... Well, have you been to Baldur's Gate, your character? Probably. You would say? Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. The yeah. wide is, uh, is, is a, like, a big open market. It's, uh, called the wide because it's, like, an open space. Big wide people, space. Yeah, that people can, like, set up stalls and markets and, and, uh... Yeah. Okay. So what I gathered from context, perfect. It's the yeah, flea exactly. market. Exactly. It's a flea yeah. market. <laughs> Sorry, Kelly, please flee. go ahead. No, it's okay. Uh, so, like, this this Mazroth's, Mazfroth's, um, isn't that one of the books that we were looking at? Yes. Yeah, that's the one we're sent to decode. No, that's the one that uh, turned into a monster. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's the one that turned yeah. into a monster, yeah. Like. Yep. And you, did you, did you, did you, did you read it? I, I took a look at it, yes, um. What was it about? Well, they had different sections in it in all kinds of categories. One so, of them was uh, about the the weave, the interface between casters and raw magic that is governed by the goddess Mistra. Uh, I like my magic cooked. <laughs> all arcane spellcasters access the weave directly, while the divine spellcasters are granted to it by their deities and ideals. Damage. Sorry, what was the goddess again? Mistra. Uh, Mistra. Mistra is the goddess of magic. Um, it detailed the damage, extensive damage to the weave in the year 1385 DR, the year of mm. blue fire, when unimaginable mm -hmm. destruction was plagued my damage to this weave. Like what it was happened called that the spell year? plague. Oh, the spell plague. Yeah, never mind. I remember. <coughs> Mistra was assassinated, or so they say. Some other sections of it uh, wrote of uh, Malar, the god of the hunt, as being the uh, responsible for lycanthropy. Um, mm. There was some notes by Masroth himself that disagreed on this basis but uh and okay. oh yes the f the f the other um subject was uh the abyss rule uh which is the plane ruled by the demon lords such as uh Bephomet, Demogorgon, Gazit, Jubilex, Orcus, Inogu, Zatmoy, and many others. Mm -hmm. Masroth had uh, notes that uh, ties the origins of several of the monsters that 
curse the lands of Faerun to these demon lords, such as Jubilax, having being the original creator of all oozes. Hmm. Slimy. Or no hmm. mention of Tempest at all, eh? Not that I remember, but uh yeah. So, like, both of these people bought the same book from the same shop, right? They both mentioned the wide. No, it's not the same book. They just have similar topics. Well, I mean, like, the same book. The like same the, shop. The, the same shop, though, right? Like, I'm, I'm suspecting it's the same bookseller, yes. That seems too coincidental. What did the... Um, hmm. That sounds like it makes sense. Let's, let's go find this bookseller guy. Well, the bookseller was in Baldur's Gate. Well, then I guess oh. we gotta go to Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. That other adventuring party's there, too. Maybe... Oh, yeah! Maybe That's they true. got into trouble. You know what this means, though, right, guys? A road trip. Road trip! <laughs> You're gonna provide the snacks, right? I'm gonna provide the snacks! I'm gonna go, go, I'm gonna go, 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 oh, wait, 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 I have an idea, I have an idea! Alea, can you yeah. turn into a pig? Hmm. The, the, the forest oh, near here, it's full of truffles. truffles. Oh, okay. I was like, okay. um, you're not carving slimes. I was really worried there for a second. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to no. eat you. Like, that's, what? No, we're, we're I was good. worried. I'm sure you're delicious, but like. <laughs> Wait, I mean, I the could... third book that attacked? Uh, it was called the level one players. The Dark questions. Hunger. Like the Dark so Hunger. Who brought that book? I remember that book. Valor. That's what the one that Valor brought. And, well, what and was the did. other third book then? Oh, uh, the sorry the the third book was um, unknown to you. Oh, sorry. It, it oh, it was, wasn't on the, the list. The fallen uh, Tethermar it was. Uh, was not in the list of uh, who who had brought it in because you know, they are still looking for them. Right. Oh, so it's a mystery book, not on the list. How does this library, with all of its extensive record keeping, have a book with no record? It takes That's time for uh, books to be like logged, cataloged, and cataloged, and to research into. Think of how many people enter and leave Candlekeep and all the indexes that they have to cross-reference. Can we talk to, like, whoever would have taken in the books? Uh, there's many people who, who um, take in the books, and then those books are given to people who, who index them, and there's multiple books. That, so uh, the records are lost yeah, until it actually exactly. shows up. So I exactly. think we should go to Baldur's Gate and interrogate the sketchy book seller and see what's going on. Sounds good to me. Seems like our only let's, thread. Mm, true. Let's do it. Let's go buy a book, guys. Okay. All right, All right let's do it. Preferably one that doesn't attack this time. Mm. Well, yeah, yeah, preferably. Or just find out why they're selling cursed books. Uh, maybe they're yeah. just evil. Could I be. Mean, yeah, probably. See, that's. That's an explanation I can get behind. Like, yeah. this, as I said, this has happened before. Yes. Like, I have faced several book demons. As you keep saying, Wolfen. It could does. Just be somebody causing mischief. Well, no. You figure it's probably best to report to the sages mm -hmm. uh, before leaving Candlekeep, and uh, they give you uh, their blessing, and uh, they hope to see your return safely. All oh, right. And off you go. Like that makes two of us. Gates. <laughs> All right, who's driving? Uh, I'll drive, so everybody okay. else can rest. You're driving from. We're going to Baldur's Gate. Candle keep going north. Keep at least coastway. one hand on the reins. Do you like, want I'll an assist? Least... I can keep an eye out for bumps in the road. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, so it'll probably take you. A about uh, eight days to get to uh, Baldur's Gate. Um, your first three days, pretty uneventful. Your uh, fourth night on your journey, though, 
you see you see someone who seems like a, a small stature of uh, of a person on the side of the road they have their their hand out with a thumbs up perhaps looking for a ride north hmm. like i got a good feeling about these guys yeah pick them up why not are you, are you guys doing okay do you need like a lift uh you see that uh this looks oh. like a seems like a young child but then upon closer inspection it looks like someone who just looks really young and is really short no I, I get that all the time i totally understand uh he says yeah um i'm heading north um to water deep are you going 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 that uh, way and got an extra extra seat yeah um sure yeah uh to water deep no we're going to boulder's gate Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll take whatever. That'll get me partway there. Uh, yeah, sure, yeah, hop right. in. Yeah, what's your name? Uh, the, the name is Mushika. Mushika? Mushika, yeah. And, uh, well, so what's nice your business? Nice to meet you. Ah, nice to meet you as well. well we're, we're, we're solving a mystery, so I guess this is, like, the mystery wagon. Oh, who are you solving a mystery for? It's this really cool book. I'm going to show it. Oh. Have you ever seen that's... anything like it? No, nothing like it, but... It looks... Valuable. Have you ever and heard of books when... attacking people? That's when you guys hear a large crunch. Hmm. As suddenly you turn around and there are three giant rats that have jumped on the, the wagon behind. And... Uh, you guys are surprised. Like Roll for initiative. Mm. Oh. Oh, I knew it had rats. to fail sometime. Giant rats. Nine. Not handle not having a phone case. God Ooh. damn it, I'm gonna break this thing. Okay. Sixteen. I put mine in the chat. Oh yeah, Eight. put mine in. Sixteen. Nine. Oh, Wolfen, there we oh, go. Yeah. Natural 20. That's what you get, we're a barbarian. <laughs> and my dex is one, plus one. So. What's your dex, Kel? Hmm? What's your dex? Oh, my, uh... Oh, I added my 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 decks to it. So no, I have a sixteen too. No, you both have sixteen. So whoever has higher decks will go first. Oh, I am plus two. Plus two. Okay. So well, does, does Brickly the... go first, or well, so Richly goes first, right? Uh, no, I got a nine. Oh, yeah, sorry. I got... It's between Brickly and Evelyn, so Brickly goes first. Yeah, I'm just okay. I'm watching the bottom of the initiative. So if they're not dead yet, I'll finish them off. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Okay. You'll 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 uh, clean out the scraps. <laughs> and actually, one minute, I have a perfect song for this. So, I wish I could hear it. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why. Check your sound settings to make sure that your browser has volume. It does. Yeah, it's. I I just don't know why I'm not getting any of the uh, uh, browser settings for oh or uh, any go of the sound go click settings. go click the bottom like the sound setting and make sure that it's going out to your headphones. It is, yeah. Well, Zoom is, but Zoom might be doing it by itself. It's done that okay. before. Yeah, the only thing with um with Roll Twenty, I'm I cannot scroll. There is no other settings after uh, chat avatar size. It does not scroll down any further. I. Don't oh, see it's at the videos. top. The the setting for volume is at the top. Yeah, yeah. But usually okay. there's like you know the 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 slider or the the, the checkbox for you know like don't, to broadcast sound, receive sound. None of that's there. That is really weird. Yeah, no, well, mine well, is also that too. Mine, yeah. and there's no other settings, so yeah, I hope I'm so. not broadcasting on the roll twenty because I can't. Uh, change you're not. It. I've got it so that nothing happens. Oh, no. okay. Well. But eh. anyway, let's get back to game. Whatever. Back okay. To game. So uh, the giant rat right next to uh, Breakly. Uh, attempts to bite at. Uh, hey. It does have its buddy next to him, so it does have advantage with their pack tactics. Hmm. Breakly does a well, 23 hits. Uh, yes, it will. Um, 
assuming so. And mm -hmm. uh, one, two, one plus two. It bites you for five piercing damage. Ow. Okay. Um, all right. The giant rat next to uh, Wolfen will take a bite. All right. Uh, does a 15 hit. Uh, my armor class is 15. Okay, so that will. And that is a uh, six piercing damage out of that bite as it chomps on your leg. Uh, ah! Misha, who is right next to Risley the driver, uh, suddenly turns into a suddenly uh, you can hear bones cracking and his shoulders deform and you see him hunch over more and more his his hands become clawed his snout pointed with buck teeth in front as he turns into a were rat and that is his turn like what and he says he's Louise Give me your valuables. Uh, Evelyn. Not my you books. You get one. One giant rat ordered coming right up. And that is actually only a nine. So that's not going to hit. Um, back at the top of the initiative is Wolfen. All right. With a. I didn't act. Whoa. Yeah, I I didn't act. Surprise. surprise round. We were yeah. surprised. Oh, surprise. Yeah. Got, oh, it. Sorry, surprise sorry. Round. got it. Got it. Got it. Oh. Gotcha. So, uh, uh, none of us uh, acted. Am, none am of I us in, did. <laughs> am I in reach of the thief? Uh, sure. Yeah, you could be like the ones that's closest, uh, sitting uh, to the side, and sure. I'm gonna basically like kick away the rat that's biting at me, slip, uh, and uh, I'll just bell about in rage. Okay. Uh, I will draw my weapons. I won't get both attacks because I can't double weapon. Okay, you can draw one weapon per turn. Uh, except if you have the dual wielder feet. Oh, right. Uh, and then I crazy. get both. Yeah. So I will get both weapons out, but I'll only swing with one of them. Okay. Uh, cool. But I'm coming in with rage. Okay. Which weapon are you swing with? Uh, probably the sword. Um, okay. So that's a 15. On the were rat? Uh, no, I'm going after the. Yeah, yeah, after the were rat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, 15. Yeah, that definitely hits. Uh, so that's going to be. Uh,. Uh, eight damage to him. Eight damage to the were-rat. Um, what is your weapon? Just a sword? Yep, it's a long sword. Yep. Okay. You you take your long sword and you slash him right over the uh, the side of his, uh, from shoulder to his hip on the side, and you instantly see that the fur, the flesh that was cleaved, reforms behind your blade. Fair enough. Uh, anything else? Uh, nope. I think that's about all I can do. Um, yeah, and I'm raging. I don't think I'm too focused. I'm just, going okay. right at him. Excellent. How dare he betray our uh, our hospitality? Right. This guy's mm -hmm. a jerk. All right. Mm -hmm. The giant rat next to uh, the back of the 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 uh, wagon is going to take a bite at Alea. With his pack tactics, he's gonna get a uh, 14 to hit. That does not hit. My AC no, is 15. No, it does not hit. All right, kind of makes a sound, and uh, you can see the speedy little eyes stare, I stare at you Just with hate. Breakly, you are next. All right, I am going at it with the rapier because that's what I got. And oh my god, I got a natural twenty! Huzzah! Yeah. What are you attacking? Woo. I am attacking the the rat that bit me. All right. Yeah. Rat's going down. Cut, have at you, my little nasty friend. Oh. Dirty rats of unusual size. Okay. <laughs> oh, they don't that, exist. It is a D eight. Okay. I didn't oh. realize we were in the fire swamp already. And I got, I rolled a seven, so I get plus two, piercing nine, nine damage. 
Nine you, damage on the uh, where rats. You roll double dice, Cal? No, just one. Well, You're you crit. Critted. Oh, right, I critted. Yeah, so you roll your dice yeah. twice. Let's do that again. So one more D8. One more D8 and an eight. So. Oh, damn. Yeah, nice. so we have nice. a 17 all together. Air horn noise. 17. You, uh, what do you, what's your weapon? Rapier. Rapier, you you stab it right in the neck, and the the rat, the giant rat, just kind of gives you a little shiver, and flops on the mm. ground. It's no longer moving. Nasty piece of work. I think that's right. good meat. Don't waste it. Any fails? Good to go for your turn. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, Evelyn, it is your turn. I would like to ask if I can use my claws as unarmed strike with dex instead of strength, the same way I do with my dagger. Uh, technically no, but I'll allow it. Okay. Then I would like to um, fucking slice these bitches up, whichever one's closest to me. Okay, uh, the one of the giant rats. Yep. Okay, cool, yeah. <laughs> Uh, go for it. Thirteen? Thirteen. Thirteen is, a. Uh, it just hits, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Four damage. Four damage. You slash the rat on, over its back, and uh, you can see it's kind of like hiss at you in, in pain, and uh, you can see the blood marks, three long streaks on its back. Um, next would be Alea. Alrighty. Um, so, how many rats are around still? There up? is one. A uh, giant rat uh, that is pretty hurt. There's another giant rat that's uh, full health, and there's a were rat in the front seat next to Riley. That's or Risley. That's uh, full health. All right. So I think um, bonus action. Woof. Ah, woo! Um, Alea's gonna shift into a wolf. Okay. And I will uh, jump up and attack the. A, wolf, a one that's kind of five feet with another ally of mine. <laughs> if okay, I roll kind of are. close, yeah. yeah. So you could choose the full health route or the... Yeah, I'll do the full health wrap. Okay. Um, so I get advantage on my bite, because pack tactics. It's the best. They're great. Awoo, awoo. Well, that was good, because one was a nine. so that Or one was a one, so that's not going to hit. Um, But will the... What do I add? Um, does a 13 hit? A 13 does hit indeed. Sweet. Okay, let me... What do I roll for this? Sorry, this is what I'm reading. Okay, 2d4 plus 2. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's nice. Um, That's going to be a total of 9 biting damage to this rat. 9. <sighs> yeah. You bite him and right on the back of the neck. Nice. And... Uh, the rat scowls out loud and then flops on the ground. Anything else? Uh, that's it. That's all I can do for now. Okay. Richly, you're sitting like, right next to uh, the were rat. Like, dude, you're really making a bad name for hitchhikers. And I used to be one. <laughs> and I'm going to pull out my quarter staff, like look at him, plunk it down the center because yep. it's got a nunchuck feature in it. It doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah. It says in the rules that you can have nunchucks that are just a staff. So I'm like, oh yeah. Okay <laughs> with this. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna bash him, and I'm gonna use uh, Flurry of Blows. Okay. So there's a key point, and well, uh, the quarter staff is a miss. Uh, okay. Because that was that was a nine. The other two are double twenty twos though. That'll definitely hit. Okay, so that's just a D four right now but plus my deck still on those. Holy crap, double fours. So nice. that's that's basically all like, yeah! 
and just headbutt him twice for all, I guess, 11 each? You headbutt him and you can feel his skull kind of give way to yours as you headbutt him. But then as you look up, you can see his brow that was like kind of deformed, reform and put back to place. Like, dude, stop it! Just go down! <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh, I don't think I can. I've used my bonus action. My move uh, is. I guess my move is going to be just like holding on to the reins and not letting the the the, the cart just go a wall. But I think I I think I've used my action, so I don't think I can do that. Okay. Cool. And Next I am be... since I don't think we actually short rested and set it. I am out of key points. Oh no. All right. Hmm. He's cause, uh, Wait, from when though? It's been multiple days. Oh, you're right. It has been multiple days. Yeah, it's been like four days. This yeah, is the fourth yeah, yeah. Night. I, pr I probably rested at some point. All right, cool. You probably have it. Probably. We probably let you. I have one key <laughs> no, point remaining. You've been driving this whole time. Oh, I'm like a trucker on the old west, dude. <laughs> I've got Red Before Bull in my veins. And... In. All right. Sorry. All right. So, so I was reading something. Okay. Like, so... get him, Scoob. I mean, wait. Um, Alea? This, uh, where is this snack? going to... We need an Alea snack. Alea snack? <laughs> Give her Wish some Alea's. Alea to Ruffles. take out his sword and stab at you with it. Stab at whom? Well, that's just uh, right. Riley. Rishley, sorry. Rishley. Uh, that is a da -da -da, dirty 20. A dirty 20 is going to hit mm. me, only because uh, it's dirty. That though. is a 17 piercing damage. <laughs> oh, sorry. Seven piercing damage. Okay. I, I'm, I'd still be up <laughs> either way, but this is a much happier event. Ow. <laughs> like, ow! That was probably important. He says, I said drop everything. All what of your organs you are important technically, Rishley. Some are redundant. <laughs> ruff, ruff. Bark, bark, bark. Wolfen, it is your turn. You are muted. I like how we have a wolf and Wolfen. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So uh, I am now in full and proper rage. All uh, I'm gonna. Well, I'm still attacking the the lycanthrope. I'm going to just flail on him. The lycanthrope. Yep. Okay. Uh, I've got a. 22 and a 8. Um, and my 22 is um, two, it's gonna be, 22 is a sword? Uh, yeah, 22 is a sword. Okay. And that's going to be uh, 16 damage. Wait, okay. no, yeah. sorry. 14 damage, 14 damage, pardon me. You slash at him with your sword and uh, your other one was a axe, right? Yeah. And you you uh your sword goes into his shoulder and you look at your axe and you basically use your axe as a hammer on your sword to get a deeper cut and it seems to cut through but as soon as you remove your weapons it just reforms why won't you die that's gotta be cheating all right uh anything else for your turn uh oh um I would almost like, if I could, I would just tackle him off the side of the thing, but I think my action's gone. Uh, yeah, next turn, yeah. if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to shove him, you can. Sure. Um, this giant rat next to Alea and Breekly, it's going to go after Breekly. Uh -huh. It no longer has pack tactics, though. Okay. This is... Saw me get its friend. Um... So the attack is a dirty 20 with a plus, oh, sorry, with a five piercing damage. Oh. You could tell that, that oh, Way's just like hoarding those three Hearth the Mars he still has. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, don't forget, oh, you still gosh. have, th you have three, someone bought you another one. Okay. Oh, man. Hmm, pardon me. Okay. Gosh. Uh, Breakly. Okay, well, Kelly, I remember you're on our side this time. <laughs> no, but you got to be fair. People paid for exactly. him, so I got to let him yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. We, we let Kelly know when he has hurt the Moors on the oh, other yeah. thing, too. We always tell him. 
Well, there's and only some of one. Us enjoy the suffering. There's probably only going to be one left when it comes to the enemy's turn, and they're right next to Kelly. So Kelly's going to be the brunt of that hurt me more. That's what they paid for. Which yeah. Oh yeah, that's the thing the chat is paid for. They've paid yeah. for retribution. Well, yeah. you can't you can't call out specifics, but yeah. If it, if the dice fall that way, they fall that way. All right. Uh, okay. sorry, Preclay, what would you like to do? Yes. Yeah, so I am uh, I am going to hit it with the rapier. The Again. giant rat? Yeah, the giant rat. All right. And does a 17 hit? 17 does hit. Oh yeah. Let's do some big damage on that. Can you do three damage? No, I did nine. Nine, yeah. With your rapier. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, yeah. You piercing. Yeah. You take the rapier as it's trying to bite at you. Its uh, mouth opens up. You can see down its gullet, and you just. Oh, here, let me forward. get what you had for lunch lit earlier. <laughs> Everyone else can see the point of her of Reekly's rapier uh, come out of the, the rat's back, and uh, it stops moving. Happy birthday, by the way. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Wonka. Wonka. Happy birthday, Wonka. So, Cal, don't forget, whenever you're within five feet of an ally uh, mm -hmm. who is engaged within, like, five feet of an enemy, you get sneak attack on the enemy. Yes, so yes. like always use that. That's that's okay. what makes yeah. you dangerous. Ah. I'll keep in mind that uh, I'll try to keep in mind that you're a rogue and I'll try to yes, you. Yes, yes. This I'll is Kel's first uh, time as a rogue, so I've never played a rogue. Yeah. <laughs> and they're awesome. they're boss, especially at higher levels. Okay. Yeah, I'm and don't listen to, to Chris. I might be I might be anything keeping else? this character then. <laughs> Would you like to do anything else? Can I do anything else? I don't uh, really think you're I can level two, do. so you have cunning actions. You can, so you yeah. could like disengage. You could dash. You can. Sneak, if you can. Uh, find yeah, something to hide I'm, behind. Yeah, I, I think I need to find something to hide behind because I've only got three hit points left. Okay. Yeah, what, okay. Uh, what's your race? I'm a human. Human? Okay. Yeah, you can yeah. jump off the wagon and hide behind the wagon. Yeah, I'll just, I'll, you know, duck behind the wagon and kind of, yeah. you know, like huh, kind of like catch my breath. Shove the giant rat off of the back of the wagon yeah. and then you duck behind oh, the wagon stinky so that piece of uh, garbage. Uh, Mushka <laughs> can't uh, can't see you. All yeah. right. So roll a stealth check for me as we okay. go to Evelyn. Stealth, stealth. Okay. Oh, that becomes a dirty twenty. Yep. Excellent. Yeah, you feel pretty oh. stealthy. Evelyn, what would you like to do? Um, do any of these guys look like they're about to drop? Uh, nope. The there's a rat that's uh, a wear rat, Mushka himself. Mm -hmm. That's uh, sitting. Um, kind of diagonal from you. And there, is there one other? Who's left? That's it. That's but it. Every, oh. Everyone that's so far attacked him seems like uh, they're, they're, he's not taking any damage from them. Hmm. Um, Wolfen and I both now have determination. Oh. Excellent. What is that? Is that just? Uh, it's add a proficiency bonus to any to any d20 roll. Oh, nice. Okay. So I was wondering if that we we're doing that because that wasn't technically like raw. I don't know if, if we're doing. Do you, do you, do you call that? it beforehand? Uh, you, I'm gonna say we. I'm gonna say for this we call it beforehand. In okay. normal games we can call it whenever, but anytime before I say if you succeed or not. Okay. But eh, right now we'll do it beforehand. Sounds good. Yeah. Fair. All right. I would like to try to use sleep. Okay. Yeah. Or something a little bit different here. Let's, Use fireball. Hmm. Let's do it. <laughs> I got fireball. Wait, so I roll a d20. Do I add us. anything to that? Uh, you don't roll a d20. You uh, choose the, the the area. I'm assuming you're, the area that you're choosing only is going to only affect the enemy, and uh, you roll a five d8. Yep. Oh. Five d8. And how this is going to work is if anyone's hit points are uh, below or equal to that 5d8 total, then they fall asleep. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Do I have more than 1d8 so this is going to take forever? Okay, there we go. What do I have on? Okay, so that's... Oh, 
12 in total. 12. So you you cast the, the sleep spell onto Mushika, and you can see his eyes kind of glaze over for a second, but then he shakes his head, and uh, he doesn't seem to be affected by this sleep spell. Mm. Anything else? Stupid rats. Um, okay, it, who who's near me, I guess? Is uh, everyone else? You're sitting else's... behind Richley, and okay. you're uh, sitting next to Wolfen. Uh, behind you directly is Alea, and diagonally behind you is Breekly. Okay, so everyone's really close. Yeah. Okay, all right, I'm not going to attack everyone then. <laughs> okay. You do what you got to do. Uh, so that's it for your turn? Yep. Okay, Alea, it is your turn. Ow! Um, I'm going to make a bite attack at this. All right, are you going to jump uh, off the wagon around so you can get to uh, the person in the front? Yeah. Okay, excellent. And... Um, is anyone around me? I'm sitting next to the yep. rat right now. Okay, cool. So... Attack tactics, yo. Oh, that was so close to a net 20, but instead it's going to be a 19, so that's a 23 to hit. 23 definitely hits. Cool. Um, And he needs to succeed on a DC 11 strength saving throw or be knocked prone if he doesn't die by the, my damage. Uh, He is knocked prone. Cool. And oh, I rolled double ones. That's... So that's four points of biting damage. Yeah, you run across, run nice. off of the wagon, around, around it, and you just leap into a pounce as you land on top of him. Your jaws uh, snap at his jugular, but nearly misses, catches his clavicle. But as, as soon as you taste blood, the, cl- uh, the wound closes, and you see the fur. Because uh, yeah. we're rats. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Anything else? But he's knocked prone. No, that's uh, all I can do. Okay, Richley. Okay, name? so is he? He's knocked. He's knocked prone. Mm-hmm. He is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Still mm-hmm. on the cart. Is his mouth open? Uh, his mouth is open. Yeah. Okay, he's... cool. Uh, I would like to do the following things. I would like to use uh, interact with the environment as okay. my action. Multiple things. <laughs> and I'm gonna toss my silver coin in his mouth. All right, Woo. and then I'm gonna use martial arts to kick him in the jaw twice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do a uh, do a um, sleight of hand. I am spending my inspiration. Do it, and yeah. my determination. Yeah. Do it. They. Oh, actually, that's okay. I rolled one of them was a one, so hey, uh, that is gonna be a twenty-six. Yeah, the coins in his mouth. And then I'm going to spend a key point for martial arts, and I'm going to go kick, kick, kick. Uh, Well, I'm going to go kick, kick anyway. Uh, One of them is a... Oh, wait, I have advantage because he's prone. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one's a 17, and the other is a... Are you doing flurry of blows? I'm doing flurry, yeah. So the other is an 11, so that one's not going to hit. Probably. And you get a third one. Oh, I used my action to throw it in his mouth. Oh, I see. Uh, so and I'm, I'm coming out as inter- interact with object. You can do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, then hell yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, then that's a twenty-five. So that's yep, gonna be two, two hits. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be nine and nine. Nine nine. Nine nine. Nine nine. nine, nine. nine, nine. Vindication. <laughs> As you stop the the coin in its mouth, you can see the <laughs> the <laughs> light no, 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 lingering no, no, no. Uh, sizzling smoke uh, from the interaction of silver on it, on its flesh. And uh, the, how do you like the see, taste of this? You can see, Kick. it's uh, it's doing some damage. Anything else? Uh, no, I'm ge- I'm getting pretty sleepy. Actually, I'm only I have zero key points now. No. Um, <laughs> like, you punk. That's all I got. Good That's what thinking, I got. Rishley. Mushka uh, yeah. stands up, and you can see him go <coughs> as he's trying to dislodge this thing out of his uh, his throat. Let's see he, if he does. He does. He spits out the coin. It lands at your feet, and he 
you could see this angered look on his like, uh, on his face. I was just kidding, man. We can be friends. He lunges at you, Risley. Zoinks! <laughs> Ooh, that's a natural 19 for a 23 wrong, wrong, wrong to Wrong show. Hits. Wrong show. Uh, you take six piercing damage. <laughs> Make a constitution saving throw. Oh no, I don't want to be a reluctant wear rat. Uh, a constitution saving throw, you say? How about a 19? That'll do it. Yeah. That'll do it. That you... was an unnatural 19. No but dirty was... wear rats. Don't care. No exactly. I, I was on the edge of 17, yeah. like, yeah. Uh, you know, like Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> All right. I should have used, oh, I should have used hurts on, on that. Do you, I mean, you can still use it. It's cheating. You can make me re-roll this. No, I'll, I'll, I'm going to play fair. I'm going to play fair next time. Next right. time, it's coming Coward. at you, though. All right. Uh, next, we've got top of the round, Wolfen. All right. Uh, Wolfen's going to bellow in rage, drop his weapons because they're being ineffective, and I am going to grapple him. Okay. That's uh, contested uh, your athletics versus his uh, acrobatics or athletics. Um, yep. he and I think I have a bonus on that. You're raging, right? Yep. Okay. And what is your result? Four. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. He got a five. So oh, you have him grappled. Okay. Uh, yeah. And, um, I will probably, like, I'm not sure if I can... No, grapple Jesus has the grapple condition. I'm not sure if we both fall over or what be it, but uh, uh his speed is just zero right now, so <laughs> okay. um, you'll have then... to do another shove to, to get him to, to be prone again. Okay. Um yeah, I guess I don't think I can do that as a bonus action or anything like that, so I think that's it for me. I'm just gonna be getting in his way. Okay. Um Breakly. Okay. So who's left standing? Um just the way we're at. Just the where we're at. Uh, and we just can... saw him respond to Silver in a way that he hasn't responded to anything else. Yeah, so can I kind of sneak around and poke him with the dagger? Poke him with Is the your razor? dagger Silver? Uh, no, but I mean, if he's almost down, I mean, a yeah, throat could, cut is. Could try to sneak around. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Quick, quick thing for people who are new to spellcasting. Um, it, when things are um, like, I think that it kind of would be common in the world that you'd know that like if somebody is like immune to damage or something like that magic usually usually overrides it as a catch-all that's correct yeah okay i think that's probably something that you learn in, in wizard school mm. <laughs> okay so Fire, fireball so... solves most problems <laughs> so does. i'm trying except to... when all of you assholes are standing right next to him that's true <laughs> we're fine <laughs> I got okay. healing spells, so I can heal people. If I'm not in a wolf. Oh, 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 okay, yeah, that's not bad. Uh, 18. 18 hits? Yes, okay. Whew. Snake attack, snake attack. Snake attack. So at your level, Cal, you're rolling 2d6 for your sneak attack. Oh, yes, okay. Oh, but this is my rapier. Yeah, rapier, uh, okay. so the 1d8 oh, plus the 2d6. Oh. Yeah. Sneak attack. Sneak. That's why it's. Wow. And if you if you crit on that, you roll them all Sneak twice. Up. Holy crap! Sneak attack. Which is I why I played a rogue before. Exactly. And this is why I don't understand why Mike was complaining I... about Zan at level eight when he had five d six or something like that. <laughs> I can hear you, Mike. I can hear you complaining about uh, your sneak he's, attack. He's 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 over so, playing playing. That's okay. Red we Dead. love him, but I know. Uh, so that is three. Okay, a d a d eight plus two d six. Okay. That's right. Okay, so six, three, nine, and plus two piercing damage is 11? Did you add your dex as well? Uh, no? To damage I your can dex. add my dex too? Yep, to damage. So the 1d8 13? plus the dex. 13 damage, yeah. You, with your rapier, uh, are able to just catch him right in the lungs. But as soon as you draw that sword back out, his wounds close. All right. Wow. Evelyn. Oh, sorry. Did you want to do anything else with your bonus action? Uh, is anybody left? 
uh, the the Mushka's still still alive. The the damage that you dealt to him, uh, although it looked severe, as soon as you took his sword back out, it, the wounds closed and yeah. looked like it didn't have any effect. I don't know. Uh, wow. Can I still hit him? Uh, you can. Or would or would my bonus action be be uh, moving over to that side? Uh, you can try to like hide again. Yeah, I would can... rather hide. Yeah, three, okay. three hit roll points. A, I'm gonna hide. <laughs> roll a stealth check. Okay, hide, hide. Oh, stealth. Oh, I might make it eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You're not really sure if you're yeah. if you're successfully stealth or not. Well, I'm, as long as I'm as long as I'm ducking. <laughs> Evelyn, it is your turn. <laughs> Okay, so if I want to use Witch Bolt, can I just like run around so that no one's in between me and him and like you could then shoot through use people. it? You could shoot through people. Can I shoot it through yeah. people? But the the difficulty right now is you are within five feet of him. That's so. what I mean. Like, can I just like jump off the cart and like get a ranged you can, attack on him? But uh, when you leave his threat range, his his reach with his weapons. He's gonna get a free attack on you with his reaction. Uh, okay. Um... So you could either risk the attack and back off and get a better accurate uh, shot, or you could mm-hmm. stay where you are and roll with disadvantage to see if you hit. You do have inspiration, which can nullify that disadvantage. Um. Um, cause if, cause once I hit once, I'm good. Yep. Um, as long as you're concentrating. But then if I, okay, let's try that then, um, with disadvantage, I guess. Okay. So you're not using your inspiration to nullify the disadvantage? Um, I will do that. Yes. Okay. So you just roll okay. one die. So it's a normal roll. Um, let's see if you hit. Just a d20? Just a d20. <laughs> what'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you... Not one. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. I was excited. I thought you got a nat 20. Yeah. But a nat 1, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh. Your witch bolt goes flying, streaking through the air. Off in the distance somewhere, a tree catches fire and explodes. Its barks are splinters raining down on you. Where did that go? <laughs> oh God! You knocked off your glasses. <laughs> that one. <laughs> else? Nope. Nope. Alea, it is your turn. All right, Alea. Oh wait, gonna... I, I want to tell everyone to stop using regular weapons. Use silver. Okay. I would say Alea's gonna oh, yeah, whoop, that's good plan. de-wolf herself as a bonus action, and she's yep. gonna go. All right, rat. How about some rat poison? And I will cast a poison sprite at him, so he needs to make a con save. Uh, con uh save. am I in the range of that? I'm uh, kind of no. grappling him. Um, no, because uh, she has I, a choice of attacking someone. I else can choose to him. him. Oh, okay, but, good. Uh, she doesn't choose him. You'll be <laughs> fine. <laughs> what you put into your body, I, it's okay. you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a con save. Yeah. That is a 13. Yes, yes, he doesn't, he fails it. Okay. I roll a d12 and he gets poison. This gas is poison. poison. All right, that is gonna do I add anything. Nope, that's just gonna be straight 10 points of poison. 10 points. He's mm-hmm. definitely, uh, he's definitely hurting real bad. Okay. Risley, it is your turn. Um, he's being grappled. He is. Hmm. Um, uh, God, what can you do if somebody is like, is like, uh, put what? some coins between your fingers and start punching? I mean, I guess I'll just have to pick up my coin and, like, yeah, I'm going to do it like okay. a set of keys and just start, like, bapping him in the face. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, so I'm okay, going to do... Uh, so I get... I'm going to use martial arts because I'm out of key. 
You're at uh, disadvantage, I'm going to say. I'm oh, sorry? I'm, using, I'm going to use one of my oh, points are you? to okay. give you disadvantage. Okay, then I'll just... I rolled twice, so I'll just say that I take the lower of that. So that's going to be a 13. 13 is a hit. Oh, okay. Uh, then... And here we go. Do you want me to roll disadvantage on this one, too? Uh, do your damage first. Okay. Uh, the first one's going to be 11. 11 damage? Yeah. Shoot you, Kim! <laughs> Uh, are you doing it with your weapon or your fist? I'm doing it with my fist with a silver coin in it. Okay. Uh, kind of like, kind of like, kind of like how people do keys when they're in a parking lot, you know? Gotcha. <laughs> Which Probably doesn't talking. work, by the way. How do you, how do you want to do it? <laughs> uh, how do I want to do this? I, I want to oh. rock him, sock him, robots his head straight off. How would that not work? Uh, some... I always... It hits your hand You never know Yeah, I think when, it, it does have, equal damage to your hand as... Yeah. Yeah, Impact. but uh, you're gonna get damaged to your hand either way. Like, yeah, <laughs> do it with something that's gonna damage yeah, them exactly. more. True. Do whatever plus, you can. <laughs> plus, I'm a plus I'm a monk, right? So like, yeah, you're fine. So like, also, this is these are coins, not keys. So that's true. true. You, you true. give him an uppercut, and you can feel his jaw go straight up, and uh, everyone is confused for a second as they just see shoulders, and then uh, the horse in front. You he you hear really spooked. <laughs> As they, it starts to trot really fast, the head has has impacted the the horse right on side. Like, don't lose your head, man. Yeah. So you're riding <laughs> at uh, a, a real speed, uh, as fast as the, as the horse could go, um, uh -oh. with a dead body next to you, a headless corpse. This just sounds awesome. Do you want to try to pull the reins back and uh, calm the horse? I will try an animal handling check. Yeah, go for it. Um, I got a 17, actually. Yeah, yeah you, you oh, managed sweet. to calm the horse down. It slows to Whoa, buttercup. full gallop. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> There's uh, a few, a couple awesome dead animal. giant rats in the back and a body in the front. Who wasn't in the cart and who is? I was not in the cart. Uh, Breakly and Al Alea were left behind. They're about wait up <laughs> forty feet back. Oh, we're not far. It's yeah, like, we'll just uh, run. It's not even running necessary. I'll give the horse a little pat as I get into the wagon. All right, good, good, better cut, good job, Richley. That was yeah. That was impressive. Well, thanks for holding him so I could hit him. That was, that yeah. was amazing. <laughs> that Ooh. worked pretty well. Took your head clean off. Oh man, I'm soaked in this shit. Uh, how do you guys feel about giant rat? I feel no more hitchhikers. I feel terrible, but I'm like, just gonna lay down here for a little bit. At least we have dinner. Yeah, yeah, cook them up, cook them up, um, fresh meat. Should we <laughs> be eating were rats? <laughs> well, the, 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 the giant well, rats, giant rats aren't, well. aren't were rats. <laughs> just, just, just this, 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 this one right here is a were rat. Yeah. I, oh God, I it bit me. Anything up long enough, it's what fine. It's fine. <sighs> yeah, fair, fair enough. I, I'm, Am I gonna I'm turn into no one of those things? State to argue. <laughs> oh, ah, I'm okay. itchy. Oh, I think I got fleas again. Ugh. Ooh. Let's get the comb out. <laughs> oh. oh man, I got this. I got blood in my hair. Oh, man. As like, you look out from the from your battle, still trying to manage to collect yourself. Uh, yeah, off in the distance, you see the glow of Baldur's Gate and the the horizon of the, of the uh, ports and ocean off the distance. About four days left. Like, maybe they have a healer there. Oh, oh I can I can I can, I can uh, heal people if they need. I got. Oh yeah, I got some uh, some hands. Or I don't even have to hands. I got healing word. Hands. I got healing word. <laughs> what's, what's the word? Well, we're also gonna get a long rest if we got four days till Baldur's Gate. Yeah, eight. that's true. Yeah, yeah. You know, nice. a little, a little, a little help in hand. Some nice uh, hearty rat burgers. Mm. <laughs> nice. All right. Bring that in. Cool. Good fight, everybody. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so, are we gonna take a take a break right here? Yeah, let's yeah. take a quick break. All right. I did four whole damage. You did, and you lost your glasses, which which is honestly that's worth my vote for the night yep. for for funny moment. So, yep. uh, folks, yep. we're gonna be back. Uh, don't go anywhere.
everybody. Welcome back. We're, we're back. Hi. Hi. Um, Hello, everybody. Jinkies. All right. So is there anything that we wanted to say? Oh, there's one thing I wanted to say real quick. Uh, happy birthday, Wonka. I see you in the chat. Yeah, I see that Wonka. it's your birthday. It's day. And um, yeah, Wonka is a fantastic member of the Dork Tales community. And happy birthday, dude. You're fantastic. I hope you're t- staying safe down there. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, yeah, if you want to join the community, join our Discord because we're actually pretty cool and we do stuff. And I'm going to adjust my camera a tiny bit again. Uh, but yeah, so wait, thank you so much for running this episode. It's been a lot of fun yeah. and not just because I keep yeah, kill, kill I, stealing. I hope you guys are uh, are enjoying it. It's I have mm-hmm. to say, I don't know about as the audience, but I think as a player, I'm I'm liking the flow of this one better. Than this last episode? episode? Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, because you, really nice. you were viewing. And last episode was really, like, episode one was really rough. It was really start-stop, and it was, you go to a new room. An inanimate object wakes up and attacks you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You go to a the new exploration, room. Exploration, yeah. Exploration pillar. It was it was kind of stagnant. This this has like extra steps that are just kind of they feel more organic and fun. I and did there's have like a little to... bit of puzzling too. Like there's a bit of like thinking going on. Should I, I, should I like... say what I what I had to do? Thank you. Um, if it doesn't affect Wolfen any, does not it, think. So I I, <laughs> I like the 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 way that um I like the story. I like the way it's written out. But I did have to like add a, a few things. Like the, you always the whole, have to. Right? Yeah, exactly. The, what the, did you so what what did you have to add so far that was you uh the the your initial quest to find to translate the book mm-hmm. uh that whole thing is is what i added um and uh some other things you'll you'll i'll i'll, I'll reveal the rest as you finish because sure. that'll get revealed later so I, I also wanted to say, like, thank you very much for running this. And I hope that you're enjoying Candlekeep Mysteries. Um, I know that our first episode has had some pretty good response, especially on Twitch. But on YouTube, nice. has had has been pretty good. I think we're at, like, I don't know, four 400 views already in the past week, which oh, is wow. pretty, nice. it's pretty good, nice. right? Yeah. Um, I think we're, like, the second or third most viewed, right? We're right behind Red Moon Roleplaying. They've got us beat by about double. Um, and they're a really good group. We'll get so em. We'll get them. We'll, we'll get them. We'll get you. <laughs> I think, well... well our rhyme of the yeah. frost maiden stream like the like we're it, it's, yeah those, it's those almost at 16k right God, now mm-hmm. that's so many people that's lovely hey yeah. good hey one red thank you for joining the discord it's a good community hope you enjoy it no. um I'll, i i post it's a lot of memes there's lots it's of, a yeah, lot there's of lots memes. memes they're so meme to us it's true <laughs> um so yeah i really appreciate that we are able to you know do this and have fun uh, i did want to say that we are going to have some rotating dms so you might see some other people in that seat besides me and david uh amy is running a game coming up uh i am running i'm running quite a few of them but not as many as i normally do right as you probably would know if you're not new here yeah. um and then james is running one uh yep. at least one <laughs> and then uh, we're looking for anybody else who might want to run from our dork tales team and maybe some guest dms too you never know Ooh. but uh any any dork tales team members just send me a message how much you what are you talking about you're talking about robin yeah robin should do it. i don't think i don't think robin should cut her teeth on that i think that i think because like people get kind of nervous, right? Because you're running on stream, and yeah. it is a vastly like you haven't even ran on stream before, James, and you've been running that's for true, like that's twenty true. years. I'm just I'm just poking fun. I, I was suggesting no, earlier that Robin should run stuff. There, right. uh, yeah, James you, been mm-hmm. like, you should TD him. I'm like, yeah. Well, you you should, but I'm gonna make you the same offer that I make to everybody else who plays in the game. If you really want to, and you'd like to try running a game, Robin, contact me, and we'll set something up during Extra Life, because yeah. then yeah. it's Extra Life, and if it doesn't go well, it doesn't matter. You're raising money for sick kids. Exactly. So no matter what, people are going to be in a good mood. They're going to. Yeah. Ooh. So I always hero, jump in with a hero mouse. Oh, yeah. apocalypse. Racing class overlays. It's it's really good. So the um, the frames that you see here, like all of the overlay stuff here, uh, is designed by our resident graphic designer. Resident graphic designer. Um, resident professional graphic designer. He is a professional graphic designer. <laughs> uh, so that's that's Michael Eilat, real, real <laughs> who is um, Veil, Fender, and in Cyberpunk, Zan the Plan, mm-hmm. and Curse of Strahd, uh, and will be playing, I think his name's Hothead, oh, Ignition. It's not Hothead. It should be Hothead, but it's Ignition in our upcoming game of uh, Aberrant utopia north yeah Mm -hmm. um which ads will be coming up for that pretty soon i just need better shots of some people because people were complaining they didn't look cool enough i'm like "Eh, it's your photos (laughs) um so he designed all of our frames and then he guided me through adding these things 
because normally what we have, if you look at our normal streams, we've got like a class icon here and like a character photo here. But because these are one shots, it didn't make sense to like draw a character photo for every episode and like, or to go to like a, a pit crew generator yeah. or something like that. So we're just putting like the boop boop up there. Uh, and then we normally also don't have this. Uh, because once you are used to our uh, our games, our names and pronouns are always given at the beginning of the game, and you get to know us as people, um, and it, it just it clutters the screen a bit. So if you're looking to do something like this, I would advise doing as simple as possible Yes. to, to be aesthetically appealing. And I, I say that because that's what Michael would say. Yes, yes, it and would And what be. Michael has <laughs> said to me so many times when I'm like, can we put our names in there? And he's like, for extra life, and that's it. <laughs> Because he's like, that's too much. We need the names. Nobody's of gonna names, read it. Their ability scores, their feats. Well, and he, someone <laughs> yeah, and was then messaging. Your picture will be this big. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, someone was messaging me about um, Evelyn. Uh, I think oh, you're muted. Who's muted? Evelyn. Oh, I yeah. like channels that have all that shit to be fair. So <laughs> you do. You do. It's a personal preference. It is a personal preference. Um, a lot of people have been saying, "Why don't you use D and D Beyond?" And it's because. I have like if you look behind me, like I have this many role playing books in my in my yeah. house right now. It's true. I'm not gonna rebuy them on D and D Beyond just so that we yeah. can have interactive character sheets, you know. Yeah. So it, it's just it's it, it's like I would love to have D and D Beyond, but it would be like a six hundred dollar investment or something like that. Oh like, gosh. Or well, no, it'd be about, probably about a two hundred dollar investment, oh. which is just. It's, when you already made the investment, it's annoying. Yeah. When I already made yeah. the investment, and I we're bought already, the books. Mm -hmm. like three times yeah i know you you did but like you're mm -hmm. you're 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 a wild one um, yeah that's oh, why wow. kelly has to buy books for all the systems i just mm -hmm. it's, true. I buy it's, one. it's really <laughs> true i've got somebody on youtube right now being like i saw that you mentioned promethean run promethean please please and i'm like i mentioned uh, it in passing i think i said i didn't like it <laughs> Tell me to run this game. but like i appreciate the enthusiasm oh man um, but there, we actually have people right now, James, begging me for Requiem, so we'll see. Okay. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> the, uh, Master Tier sub. Nice. That's, that's just expensive. Oh. I See, already this have... is why I don't buy books. I just oh, make shit up. This is also a valid <laughs> thing. Because streaming is surprisingly expensive. Like, it's, like, I, I try to be pretty transparent about that. Like, Zoom charges us, like, 20-something a month. Yeah. But it's the most stable connection for video um and they don't pay taxes do they not pay taxes no, no. they earned like 600 million dollars yeah. last year where are they located taxes. the cayman islands yeah where are they yeah okay. probably <laughs> um zoom's the best for that and then also our podcast which needs to be updated some more but that's mm -hmm. like 15 20 bucks a month in hosting fees or something like, like it's just it adds up right so uh not telling everybody to subscribe but hey if you gotta if you got if you have amazon prime you know that you can subscribe to us for free on on twitch right and then like we make like three bucks if you subscribe maybe you'll get the D, &D beyond you'll you'll see the D, D beyond extra features on twitch we'll if enough of you subscribe if enough of you subscribe that, that, that is the that is the one right there if enough yeah. of you subscribe yeah. Uh, yeah but i'm always and uh, do, I, oh we got a subscription oh. Yay! Yay! One red! Oh. thank you Asking um, you shall receive. soul omen you are not allowed to sub for anybody else this month though because no. you you've already done like 20 subs and i really appreciate yeah. you friend but no! she's not damn it soul. damn it soul <laughs> The moment. Thank you. The moment. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate her so much. Oh, yes. damn it, soul. Oh, big, big hearts. Big hearts. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. The BTS way. In the BTS way. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if anybody else, um, if there's anything else we want to talk about real quick, we could probably go. I know she can read my mind. It's because whenever I say sub, she just she just gifts sub so many people, and it's like yeah. I think she likes seeing her name up there full time. <laughs> <laughs> because it's it's either Soul Omen or it's Precarious <laughs> up there. Yeah, Precarious yeah. will just like oh, announce. Oh, and it's presence. Lady Liliana. Oh, oh, oh Lady oh, getting oh, rated. Oh. How is this? Lady Liliana's rating me for a change. Uh, for those of you who might not be aware, Lady, Lady Liliana is uh, not only my partner, but is also, uh, God, uh, Callie Thornhill from Rhyme of the Frost Maiden yeah. is also... Uh, Malia. 
Malia Sunsworn in Shards of Nern is also Claudette Belmont in uh mm-hmm. basically she's in every game except for Cyberpunk because now the vampire yeah. is over. Um and uh it's Christine. Yeah. Those of you there. So uh if you're not if you're not subbed to or if you're not following Christine at least, go follow Christine because yeah. she does Guild War stuff. Let's do She's nice. Shout out Lady Liliana. Not only is she my partner, but also God. Um, when she runs game. Oh, actually, Christine, I know that you can't see it there, but um, Christine finally got her birthday present that I bought her in 2019 yesterday. What? Like, I, 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 I kickstarted something for her, and oh, because of COVID, it got cool. delayed, like, okay. right. an extra year. Oh, wow. Uh, so like everything. She, <laughs> right? So she might want me to run that for her. But um, do you want to bring that in here? Let's I am see. most curious what, what this is. is now. Yeah, what is yeah, it? Yeah, now I need to know. Yeah, I did reach out to D and D Beyond. They don't do sponsorship for channels anymore. Mm. Um, I re- Okay, Get so you want to come in and say hi? Sure. Oh, there's a dog here. There's don't a dog it. following. There's a dog. No. So Ooh. here, I'll hold what is that? that? You're shaking. Don't shake it. It was surprise. Oh. 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 Action and esp. Cool. I'm down for that. It's fifth and spies. Um, there. Oh, yes. my my hand is very slobbery right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hi Charlie. <laughs> hi Charlie. Oh, and Faith the Hunter, of course. Okay, come on. All right. So, um, thank, hi honey. Bye, Have honey. a good stream, guys. Thanks for rating. Thank, thank you. Hi, Christine. Yeah. They're saying they're all saying hi. Aww. All right. So oh, right, you're wearing uh, headphones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, for, we forget. <laughs> oh God. I gotta say though, before like we gotta go back to game in a sec. I do not know how Christine does these ears for like they're different ears like physically but they're the same type mm-hmm. um oh god my ears are gonna be maybe i just have sensitive ears i don't know i was gonna say Can mine don't hurt ever when i wear ears. my vulcan ears were, were killer they said okay so they said that they weren't giving out complimentary stuff or they weren't doing that mm. so how many how many followers does realm smith have that's probably that's probably it too that like well also realm smith i mean <laughs> it's kind of let me see. These that'll probably make a difference. Realm, not Realm Seth, Realm Smith. Smith. Oh yeah, they've got they've got seven thousand followers. We've got yeah. like we've got fourteen hundred yeah. or something like that. So they're they're a although few. we I mean, we we popped soon, in we popped into soon. his game the other his uh, his own cyberpunk game the other night and and Mike's like. We get more viewers than he does. And I'm like, don't, don't say, say that. anything. Don't say. And then you said it on the stream live right now where it's in yeah, record no. now. Yeah. Oh, damn it, Kel. Um, <laughs> it's, all, I mean, yeah. it's all relative to like what time oh, yeah. you stream and what game. Cyberpunk yeah. gets a weird number of followers, actually, or number of viewers at a time. Mm-hmm. Like it's either like 10 viewers or like 50 viewers. There's no in between. It's it's. Uh... I mean, I'm I think sure that's it's like why a lot it's great more of to a have it on YouTube because then people can. With it like, is like the our, lesser we hit a niche. Right? Our a particular niche. It's been really nice actually because our normal D and D stream nights have actually. I, I keep thinking back, like right now we're usually in the 40s or 50s for our views right now, which is going to be fun like two years from now when we're way higher than that. But mm-hmm. I remember two years ago when we were just starting out, and mm-hmm. I would be really excited when we had like double digits at all, like we would have like five people to 10 people at the most in, in our chats. And a lot of times those people would just be us on our phones to give us like a slight <laughs> numbers boost, or it'd be mostly Kel, um, me. Kel and Mike, me and Mike and like, at home. <laughs> and then we'd be really sad when you guys couldn't tune in to, to charge and earn. Um, but now, no, it's, it's really cool. We've come a long way and we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. We're going to do it. <laughs> I just saw that Saul was playing uh, Valheim uh, on the chat there. I'm addicted to that game right now. It's so good. Is it good? It's so good. Oh, and not to shout out myself and plug myself, but I'm this week, Thursday, might be going live on Twitch for the first time. Oh, you're doing it while we're on vacation and I can't, I can't boost. Well, you know what? I can probably boost you from, from the, from the cottage. Mm. Send, send me a message and I'll leave my computer on. So okay. I won't be able to yeah. chat because I'm staying yeah. off computers for the That's week. Fine. Yeah. But I'll I'll pop on and I'll like host you. Sweet. I'm just gonna do like an itty bitty stream just to see how it's the test the waters out. But yeah, uh, I'm finally dipping dipping my toe in the pool. All right. Twitch. So I need everybody who is anybody to go and uh, pre-follow Second Gen Gamer, <laughs> which do you can it. find 
right in the, the oh. right in the chat right there. There we go. I see it in the chat. Yep. And then we can do a three-way <laughs> multi-stream. Um, <laughs> which would be great. So also, uh, wait, do you play Guild Wars? I do. I play Guild Wars. No, no, no. I'll probably do some Red Dead. Oh. Oh, wait. I don't. Uh, but You should. It's great. It's a if, lot of fun. If anything, Final Fantasy fourteen, man, mm. it's got me. It's got me. That's fair. Okay. Uh, well, uh, we should probably get back to game because it's 947 yep. and we got to finish this so, thing up. Yep. Ready to go? Let's finish it. Go. All right. So do you want to bring it back or should I? Uh, I could bring it back. Okay. So just look at the camera and be like, on the count of three, go, welcome back to Dork Tales. And then just keep, just roll it. All right. All right. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Welcome back to Dork Tales. Last we left, the adventurers just had their sights on Baldur's Gate. They had just slayed a were-rat and three giant rats, which were uh, hoping to get uh, some loot fresh off their bodies. And some meat. Oh, yeah. And some meat. And here we are, the evening. Twilight this has descended upon you. It's probably time to take a break and uh, prepare for the next morning. I am so rifling the pockets of this guy. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, let's find out what he's got. Mm -hmm. Roll a d100 for me. Mm -hmm. A d100. 95. 95. You find... Oh, this is very apt. In his pocket, he has... Was it a statue? Or something small in your hand? It's... It's a stone figurine of a mouse, but the the intricate shapes, the intricate fur details, is it's much too realistic to be from any master craftsman. And that's when it hits you. This is an actual petrified mouse. Why do we do a stone mice? Why would someone want a stone mouse? Mouse. Stone mouse. There's a that stone mouse here. That way. Oh, oh no! Don't don't try to eat it. No, you'll break your teeth. Don't. Not worth it. Yeah. Like if no. you want a jawbreaker, like we can swing by a candy shop. Yeah, it might taste better too. I don't know. Shake it. See if there's anything inside of it. This doesn't look like there's anything inside of it, but uh, the pocket has some other things. Ooh, other things. Um, I'll like pass the mouse off to someone to take a look at. Uh, I don't think. I don't. I don't. I don't think Wolfen would really realize like, that was anything. Is there anywhere <laughs> around here we can set up camp? Do you guys see anything? Well, I can't really see. Stop in the on the dark. side of the road. Yeah, here's good enough. Why not? Yeah. I mean, does well, it... don't we want to maybe look for somewhere slightly off the path There's that's gotta a be little a clearing protected and sheltered? So clearing all around. Bandits. Yeah. Yeah. Clearing. Did uh. Take the wagon off road for a little bit. All right, I'm gonna start cooking the giant rats. All right, <laughs> spend the evening cooking the giant rats. All right, I'm gonna um, make a cooking roll. Wolfen, you <laughs> also find nine electron pieces, which is converted Ooh. to four point five gold pieces. You know what? These rats are not very, very good. All right. That's only gonna be a ten. Yeah. So it's passable, probably. Just passable. You, but you're still able to feed everyone. We better either. with two giant rats. Yeah. Well, it's kind of gamey. That's true. Besides, he bled on my spice bag. Aww. Aww. Here, I'll, uh, we'll have to get you some more. I'll break I'm down sure the cash and give you guys your share uh, once we once we get there. And Wait, there's sure. cash? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's like some electrum pieces. Everyone gets uh, nine silver. You can silver. buy new spices. Nice. Oh, my nine God. I, I, I get seven new silver. Uh, because I'm gonna give two. Spice. I'm gonna give two to Brecklay. Because wait, did it was? Oh wait, wait, who else? Who else did I? Have? I think it's. Uh, she also paid for your food oh, as well. How I much think the Brecklay pie? did four. I did three in total. Yeah. I also don't think who's you've been counting. Paid yet. But who's counting? Okay. So yeah. That's... No, don't worry they're about yours. It. You're there. Yours. Yeah. Silver. Um, I'll give you each. So I'll give Brecklay oh. Brecklay three, and I'll give. I'll give Alea two. So Alea, you and I are done with that, and then I still owe. Like, was it two or did I? Did, was it three from you? No, don't worry. Doesn't about matter. It. Doesn't no. matter. No, no, no. Well, no, no. I gotta pay my debts off. You don't worry about killed it. Killed that we'll... thing with your punches. Yeah. Like it's. 
Okay, it's you good. got it. You if earned a your keep. Goddamn to... werewolf tries to steal my rat steak. I swear to God. Besides, you're cooking. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. It's not going to be that good. I got to cook it all the way through. You always got to do that it's with okay. rats. Well, yeah. Uh, you don't want to get their diseases. Oh no, you don't want. Um. I mean, yeah. It was a lot easier when I was cooking for dwarves, though. They don't really have a problem with it. You know, <laughs> it kind of just gets stuck in their craw. Dwarves have a craw? craw. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, like um, like a uh, like a chicken, right? They've got a like a hmm. gizzard. Do Wait, dwarves, dwarves have a gizzard, or I think so. Yeah, that's about? how they can don't digest know. all that all that liquor. Like, have you ever seen a dwarf eat drink? Like, man, they can drink so much they don't even get poisoned. It's true. I've drunk with them a bunch of times. I never really noticed it was many more or less than what I could handle. Oh, wow. Like, maybe they were just fat halflings. <laughs> Shouldn't you be able to tell the difference? You know, maybe. Maybe. I mean, like, some people are pretty blind, man. Like, they're, I mean, like... Wait, I mean, are you calling me blind? Well, no, no I'm saying that, you, like, like, you probably just don't know the difference. Like, are, I mean... Like, uh, are there many halflings up where you come from in the icebergs? No. Well, then what would you know? Well, I mean, they had beards, like, pretty good like, ones. Like, I have a beard. Yeah, it's not really a beard. Well, it's it, a bit of a beard. Uh, well, like, it's not like a dwarven beard. It's barely even a human beard. Well, you're barely even a human beard. What? Yeah, I think Don't... we'll... Let's just calm down. <laughs> Wait, who's yeah. wolfing dating? I, I think we're getting a little hangry Like, is here. it... Wait, yeah. aren't you dating? What? 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 Never mind. I thought the cat okay, and the we dog went to were a together. weird place awfully quickly. I understood. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, is it safe here, guys? Wolfen is not dating anyone right now. Let us be clear oh, about that. Oh, like it's totally we'll fine if you're watches. if like, like I mean, asexuality oh, wait, is like Valor. is like a totally a totally tubular way to oh, live your life. Got it. Yeah, she did strike me that way. Right? Wait. Wolfen is confused. What are what's <laughs> going on here? This is, Where's this my is rat steak? So, it's right here. Let's just let's Thank just you. eat. Oh, yeah. uh, that actually reminds me. Um, Evelyn, did you want it cooked a little lighter because you're like, like you got like cat parts? Rare, please. Uh, are you sure about that? I can, I can. Okay, I mean, you know, hey, it's it's your it's your gizzard. <laughs> no. Do rats have a gizzard? Oh, I well, think no, he like, means you have a gizzard. Well, we could find out. There's a Do rat right there. Let's just not worry about this. Well, no, but I I, I saved you the tail too. No. Cook out the tail for you. <laughs> Rats are historical. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you guys dine for the evening. We'll see, what was your uh, cooking roll? Uh, I was a 10. 10? Yeah, it's yeah. not bad. Don't get food poisoning. It's all right. <laughs> don't, definitely right. don't get food poisoning. No food poisoning. It is and you rest solid. for the evening. It and, was uh, Unlike Tim Hortons last week. Ooh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, there's some shade being thrown, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> I support that shade. <laughs> um, like I hear wolves, and it's not me. What are they saying? Oh, I, th I thought you under I thought you spoke wolf. I when I am a wolf, I speak wolf, but not when I'm not a wolf. Hmm. We'll find out if they're hunting us. I mean, hunting you lot. I don't think they're gonna give me any trouble, but. Yeah. I mean, I could take a quick boo around if you want. I just don't want them running off with Richley. What? Why would they run yeah. off with me? Because you're snack sized. I have been called a snack before. Oh god, I have five charisma fifteen. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you are a little snack. Name? Dead twinsies. <laughs> Richley's that 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 like Cato Kalen looking guy, like just no. like. <laughs> Surpri you know I what? You were more along the lines of I am, 
I thought you were doing Iron Fist. <laughs> oh God, yeah, he is. That I mean, like that guy's pretty. Like the charismatic yeah, one, not the annoying he's one. He's awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, he kind of looks. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. You guys rest for the evening. It's uh, the the howlings oh. of the wolves are a little disturbing, but you manage to sleep through it. Oh, just like home. The morning dew kind of makes the morning a little a little cold, but oh. refreshing. Like, are we and, in the mountains? Uh, you're in the. You're definitely in the higher altitude altitude hills. Oh. The mist is uh, lingering from the night before. Oh, I'm all wet. Yeah, I'm all moist. Yeah. Ah. Only a couple or four more days to Baldur's Gate, and you manage oh. to actually travel them with uh, not much more. Less incidents then. <laughs> less in- incidents of wear things, but. You do manage to get there. Ugh. Oh, I'm glad we're going to be out in the city and away from all this Mountain Dew. When you arrive at... Uh... I like how the crickets came on in that moment. Yes. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. These soundboards and me, we're like, we're vibing. <laughs> from the south, you see that uh, <clears throat> a large stone bridge connects Baldur's Gate to the southern lands. The lake that runs through is quite large, but um, you, those of you who have traveled through know that the midway of the bridge is called uh, Worms Rock. This is where the, the, the population of the less fortunate children, the less fortunate people, uh, some of them will spend their uh, make make the bridge their home so on your way there everyone please roll a perception check fifteen nine nine anyone uh, roll less dirty than an 20. eight dirty twenty oh, I, have a, I have a proper I'm, twenty da, 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 my... it's called a natural twenty Natural 20. 22. 13. 13. Okay, you guys are all good. No one had their pockets picked. Oh. So, across Worms uh, Worms Crossing, you arrive at uh, the outer um, <clears throat> the outer uh, sections of Baldur's Gate uh, where refugees have come and uh, erected temporary housing. As you cross through the slums of uh, the outer gates, you're met with uh, with the great doors, the great gates of Baldur's Gate. You can see that uh, there are guards with um, tabards over the armor that have the emblem of a fist inflamed are we are we hearing that them say it i no. serve the flaming fist <laughs> <laughs> if you played baldur's gate you get the joke okay. uh, i'm only i've only played the third one what that really yeah. oh it was it was this thing on loop whenever one of the guards would come up to you they would go i serve the flaming fist and it was just every time they came up to you they would just repeat the line Ooh. it was so it was like it was the baldur's gate equivalent of like ready to serve yeah i can see that <laughs> zug, zug. anyway sorry but uh the flaming fist who uh who guards the gates they uh stop your wagon and say oh who who are you What's your purpose? What's your business in Baldur's Gate? Travelers, book collectors, looking for booksellers. Yeah, we're going to the the, the market. The 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 the, the, the wide. The, the wide. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say the deep. <laughs> That's the wrong place. Uh, it says, "All right, and your names?" Hmm. Um, Richley Siebert Wanderfoot. He notes that down. Greek Lysali Inspire. He notes that down. Alea Taupo. Okay. Right set down. Evelyn of the Autumn. Gives you a look. We don't get much tabaxi around here. And it's a treat. looks to looks to Wolfen. Uh, you can just call me Wolfen. 
All right. Like this day? Mm, well, just we'll the find day, out. I think. Yeah. Like let's let's say two yeah. days just in case we did, we we drink it too much tonight. It took us like eight days to get here. We're not leaving immediately. That's well, fair. Okay. Um, what's a normal amount of time to stay then? I guess. Like a week. Yeah. yeah a presume as long as it takes us to find Very and true. interrogate this guy. True. True. Bender, Bender might not be here. Actually, let's let's ask the guy at the gate. You know, if he's recognize if he recognizes uh, the description that we had of the of the bookseller. You know. Anybody, what description is that? Uh, well, is there anybody selling um, rare books? Um, like, suspiciously rare? Or demon uh, attacks? Have there been any demon attacks? There have been a... Well, that was last year, uh, I believe. Hmm. Uh, but nothing, nothing, nothing about books. Okay. All right, who reads the most books in town? Uh, Is there a bookstore? There's multiple bookstores. Um, you'll find them in the wild. You'll find them in, in uh, individual shops throughout the, the upper Baldur's Gate. We'll have to ah. search all of them, everyone. Oh, no. Um, Please, well, we're, no. We're going to the market, the wide. Let's start there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if right. we have to go through every bookstore in town... It's a sacrifice we shall have to make. Like, is All there right, a Evelyn, really? You can make, the, you can make that <laughs> sacrifice. I'll, I'll, I'll spend my time at the tavern. You call me when you're ready. All right. Like, uh, speak, let's, speak... let's start with the wild. Like, the wide. Uh, speaking of inns and taverns, are there any places that you'd recommend that like are like you're not too rowdy? Oh uh, well, I think the patrons uh, they tend to like the Elf Sound Tavern. Uh, is it is it um cheap? It's, uh... It's all right. It's all yeah, right. I, it. We got you. We're a party. It's a middle class. Oh. <laughs> I used to be middle class. Anyone been to Baldur's Gate? Uh, maybe? I said before I have, so yes. I'm not, I'm not sure where my travelers are taking. Roll history. History. With advantage. Uh, uh. A strong point in my character's nature. Uh, <laughs> oh, I have uh, 15. Thank you with the event. 13. Yeah, you both have heard of the Elf Song Tavern. Um, if you're if you're a patron that uh, is eating or drinking there and you're lucky, uh, uh, there's rumors that a ghostly elven woman will, will visit the tavern and sing a song. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the haunted place. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. It's supposed, it's supposed to be this woman who'll come and scream at you in the night. Oh, okay. That sounds... Uh, like our that case. sounds more like a brothel, but okay. Actually, are there any of those you'd recommend, Wait. too? I think our friend Wolfen might need to... Um, Is it a brothel? Or maybe Evelyn. Oh. Maybe I just misunderstood. Alright, enough brothels, enough inns. Let's go... Go to the bookstores. We gotta get started. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's fair. Okay. Uh, okay. There's no time to waste. You know they have books at brothels too, right? We're not reading. Okay, those kind you of books. can search for those books. I'm and... kidding. <laughs> Are you though? Onward. I don't read. I have absolutely Let's no idea. He, he lets you through. <laughs> you uh, you bring the wagon through the gates. And uh, you're you find yourself in the lower levels, uh, lower Baldur's Gates, where the the lower class people live. They're not the slums or anything, but they're definitely not um, the uh, upper high Baldur's Gates, as they would say. Far in the distance, you do see that uh, up on the the higher elevations of Baldur's Gates, you see another set of inner walls, which separates lower Baldur's Gate from uh, high Baldur's Gate. Oh, there's and, a lot of... Uh, Where's lot of... our inn? Is it in this section or the next section? Uh, you haven't found an inn yet, uh, but uh, Evelyn and Wolfen, you guys know that the wide is in the uh, high Baldur's Gate, upper Baldur's Gate. All right. Yeah. We got to go up that way. All right. Let's just head right. up there and get this done. Yeah, totally. Is the, um, the, the... Oh, is the tavern an inn or just a tavern? 
Uh, it's an, the Elfstone Tavern? Yeah. That is a tavern, uh, as well as an inn. Okay. And as you guys head to the, um, past the gates of, uh, Upper Baldur's Gates, you see the transition of guards going from, uh, the flaming fists, the ones that wore the emblem of the fist on fire, to, um, the, the, the watch is what they're called. And they seem like they're, uh, better trained, uh, better equipped, and, uh, they look like they they have a higher standing in uh, what they do. It seems like the the flaming fists are just your lowly cops that um, that don't take the job as seriously. Well, this is pretty good. And arriving at the wide, you find yourself in somewhat lost it's uh it's quite the the busy area there's stalls everywhere markets surround you the bustling people around you uh almost make you lose your your, your senses and the location that you're in um what do you guys do start asking people for a bookseller all right uh yeah. for that i'm gonna get you to do a strange skill check it's uh Yay, i love these skill check that doesn't use the the natural mod the natural ability modifier so you're gonna use uh you're gonna check investigation do you have proficiency in investigation do you. you do so instead of using uh intelligence i believe it is for investigation mm -hmm. i want you to use charisma so you use your charisma modifier and then add your proficiency which is two okay not fair but okay <laughs> Also, want to say hi to the raid and heartbeat dice. Good to see you in the chat there. Oh. And also, we had a uh, posture check. So anybody who's slouching, knock it off. Oh, I'm slouching intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually straighten character. up for a little bit, and then I'm just like, yeah. I, must I know I've had shoulders. to adjust you a few times as you've like been slowly wandering off frame. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um. Okay. So normally on investigation, I would use intelligence, which is plus four. But, so this time I just use Charisma, which is plus two. Uh, so your Charisma modifier is a plus two? Yeah. Okay, then you add your proficiency, which, which is another plus two, so a plus four. And uh, what uh, is the roll? Seven plus four, so eleven. Eleven, yeah. You you ask around. Um, let's see if you find it. Yeah, you do. You, you ask around and uh, you come across an old lady who runs uh, a shop that seems to be selling old used armor and shields. And she says, ah, what can I help you? Have you seen a bookseller selling some weird books around? Oh, there was, um, yeah, there was some old fellas some, sorry, some young fellas selling strange books down five stalls down that way. Oh, thank you. You have very yeah. nice merchandise. Ah, thank you. Oh. Um, five stalls down, you find the sign. It seems um, not particularly well painted, but some effort was put into it. Uh, a sign that reads Amber Dune Books. Yeah. Amber Dune. Yeah. Like. Oh wait, I'm not there. Yeah. Never mind. Are we all there together? You're all together. Huh? Yeah. Like, there's the Dune. Yes. That's now we just gotta see if they have the dudes. This has gotta be it. Well, let's hope. All right. Well, so let's um, get it done, people. Are there people manning the stall? Are there? Those yeah. Gentlemen. It looks like there's uh there's two. Two, uh, there's a, a man and a woman. Um, they look like they're human. Um, it's still midday. Um, they're, they're looking, 
they're kind of just uh, looking around, shouting that uh, they have rare books, and yeah. If you look over the um, the the books that's lined up behind them uh, on shelves, you see that they they're really exquisitely bound. These are books that look like they're they're much too nice, much too high class for compared to the other stalls around here. Mm. What are the prices? Like? Are there prices on anything? Uh, there's no there's no a lot prices. Of uh, there's no prices like written down or anything like that, but. Um, are any of them um, monsters? Can I, um, I don't know, investigate or like I have, my character sheet just died, um, but okay. um, I have some sort of magic investigation. I don't remember what it was though. Uh, you're checking for if the humans are monsters or. If no, they're... if the books, if any of the books are monsters. Oh, uh, okay. Um. Okay. You look over them, uh, it doesn't seem like you notice, are you casting magic or are you? Um, well, I mean, I guess first I'm just looking to see if anything stands out. Okay. Um, make a, like regular books. make a arcana check. Mm. 14. 14. They look like they're, they're just really nicely bound books with fancy uh titles and on the cover and on the spine some of them are even um they've got the gold lettering which is <clears throat> a big ooh. um i'd like to talk to the the booksellers and just be like so where do you get your books from and oh these are really nice and i'm so curious i haven't seen some th th like these around here yeah so you uh go up to them uh one of them looks like uh, she she seems like she's uh, a young woman. Um, she says, "Ah, oh, we've we've collected books from all over the Sword Coast. You won't find anything like these. These are real keepers, and uh, if you if you're any of a, any sort of book collector, you'll you'll know how much they're worth." Hmm. How about this one? What is this one going for? She uh, she looks at them. She says, "Oh, I see that you've got great taste. This one here is uh, fifty gold." Can I um like use like I don't know knowledge books gold? to be like if whether yeah, that's a reasonable price sure. or not? Yes. Uh, history check. Oh, okay. I rolled a six. I think that was plus two or four. Okay. Oh. Uh, it seems to make sense for that price. Yeah. Hmm. Have you heard of, um, I'm going to mention one of the books that we, um, uh, that attacked previously. Okay. Uh, the one that you found was called Mars, Mars Froth, or sorry, Maz Froth's, uh, Magnificence, or Mi Mighty Discretions. Um, yes. And she kind of thinks for a bit. Make a persuasion check. Fifteen plus probably two or four. Okay. Yeah, she says, uh, yeah, we sold something like that a, a few ten days back. Hmm. Where'd you get that one from? Um, well, like I said, I get them, uh, all over the Sword Coast are... Our, our leader gets, our manager, she's the one that takes care of them. Who's that? Uh, as you ask this, we see a, a woman, a, a hooded woman. Um, she, she has a purple gown on with a purple hood. And she says, that would be me, Corvala. Nice to meet you, Corvella. You seem to be interested in our books. Yes, we're interested in the provenance of some of them. Uh, well, what, what does provenance mean? Uh, their origins and how they came to be in their possession. Oh, their story. Okay. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yeah, kind of. But like the story, it's like a metatextual mm -hmm. type of thing. What is metatextual? 
big history. It's just you know the, the big, history the of big the big story. Where it's come from. Uh, yeah, generally. Mm -hmm. She says, oh, "We we f find collectors all over the Sword Coast, and we mm, give them a good price and sell them here in Baldur's Gate." So can you tell us who sold you this particular book? Unfortunately, you must understand that uh, these type of information is what makes our business. We can't just give that up to anyone. Right, but they turned into demons and were attacking people. Yeah, you sold some Not books that... That, but... that like, could not be... A... Multiple books. It's... Yeah, like the the guys down in Candlekeep, they're they're kind of they're kind of angry and they're Becoming coming this way. Becoming a problem. Candlekeep. This is not our books. I do not know what you're talking about. Oh, they're your books. <laughs> we confirm they're your books. Um, can I cast Charm Person on there? Yeah, you definitely can. Sweet. Um. All right. What's your uh, must, uh, spell 14. DC? Fourteen. Fourteen. Wisdom mm -hmm. save, right? Yep. I'm glad you cast that before I did. <laughs> Natural 14. Shit. Ah, darn it. She, uh, her eyes, she kind of blinks for a long second. As she comes to you, she says, I must warn you not to do that again before I call the, the guards. <gasps> if you have no interest in purchasing our books, please leave. Listen, just give us the records and and we'll be on our way or explain to us why there are demon books. Make another persuasion check. Also, everybody hydrate if you can, please. <laughs> Alright, so I'm making a persuasion check this time? Yeah. I would like to and assist. I sure would prefer I would sure prefer to do an intimidation check, but uh, <laughs> I will how how do you intimidate? Oh, uh, well, Wolfen would just loom. No he's, like, 6'4 and almost as wide, right? Like, he's just a big guy, right. and he's going to just kind of loom dad. forward. <laughs> Risley, how would you like to assist his... If he's intimidating, I'm not helping. Okay. <laughs> right. If he was trying to be nice, I would, but, like, Risley, unless he's in, like, Alter Instinct mode, is, like, the nice guy. All right, <laughs> Wolfen, roll your intimidation. Uh, I rolled a 5. That's going to be 18. Anime hair going on. You rolled a five and got an eighteen. Oh, sorry, fifteen. And I rolled, I got an eighteen. Pardon me. I'm like, this five. No, I got a fifteen. Cheats happening what here. Kind of <laughs> advantages of you. Are God. you a bard of eloquence? <laughs> I was like, Hippie isn't that's a even lot that of, good. That's a lot of uh, <laughs> of expertise. Okay. Yeah, she she looks to you, like looks to you when your eyes narrow, and she says. We, we must not speak here. Meet me outside the Baldur's Gate. At dusk. Right. If you wish to know more, then we'll speak there. What, we can't just go into an alleyway somewhere and have a conversation? Not Too risky. Not while there's so many eyes watching. Who's watching? The Watch. But who like watches the watchers? Oh, okay. We're getting to we're getting to some dark stuff then. All right. How are you gonna know you're gonna show up? How do we know it's just not an opportunity to go running off? Well, we've made Baldur's Gate our temporary home. We don't wish to leave it for any. But in any haste. In any case, if we do not show, I'm sure you will be another thorn in our sides the next day. Probably. You seem to be good at that. We are awfully good at hunting people down. All right. We'll meet Very you well. then. All right. So you... Uh, and we have a book as ransom until we meet up. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> yeah, like, it's only fair. Ooh, I rolled a 16. Hmm. Yeah. She says... <sighs> Fine, take this. And she hands you a book. Thank you. You just wanted a book, didn't you, Evelyn? It's working, <laughs> isn't it? 
She says, be careful with it. So you... Hopefully it won't try to eat me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you you get the feeling that's what she's, she's saying. She, uh, you wait until dusk and wait outside oh, no, the gates. And uh, you see her uh, as well as a wagon and two other uh, people follow her. The wagons are full of boxes. You assume books are inside. She says, ah, you are here. My hope that you would disappear was not so easily... Anyway, follow us. Okay. Right. She leads you down the street outside uh, Baldur's Gate proper uh, to what some would consider the slums of the rickety shacks that people have made their homes. And one of them, she turns, it's a very small poorly put together of different materials, little structure that one could call a house. And she uh, kind of slides aside, pulls aside the, the curtain that she uses as a makeshift door, uh, parks the wagon outside, and she says, come in. Okay. Inside, you see that there are multiple people inside. Um, there's... Uh -oh. Two in the front entrance of the of the main uh, of the main room, the larger room. There's a dusty old carpet on the ground, and uh, a makeshift uh, box that's turned upside down, uh, used as a a table of some sorts. She says, "So, tell me why why have you come? Question our books." We have not bothered you, and... Well, Father that's... Candlekeep! Yeah, that's not exactly true. One of your books... And we're getting... To... We're getting paid. Tried to eat us. Yeah. They the... I mean, there's that thing, too. It did try to eat us, but mostly we're getting paid. A little bit personal, a little bit... Money, a little bit helping out Candlekeep. Mostly you money. You say that the books were brought to Candlekeep. Yes. Oh, well, that is... Not as what we had planned, but like, what did you have? What planned? did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like we... every book ends up there. Like that's what they do. They bring it to enter. Like we only wanted to it's sell a pretty books. Pretty good fate. We we. Uh... She seems worried. She seems concerned about this. Um, sorry, did someone want to say something? Like, what's wrong? What has you so concerned? Tell us what you know. She waves a hand for you to follow her. She leads you to another room and then okay. through another door, which mm -hmm. seems to have uh, a makeshift office table, an old, an old office desk that's kind of chipped in and marked in all the edges. Um, rows of books behind her. She says, we, to tell you the truth, we make copies of the books through magic. Hmm. Yes. Oh. Okay, we so? We are in desperate need of gold. Like, well, making copies is supposed to be, like, against the rules, man. But you're, like, selling books for, like, 50 gold. How do you not have gold? We are still in the process. We need a thousand gold. For, for like what? For, yeah. Uh, gambling debts or like... Trying to piss leader. a priest off to bring back someone from the dead? Oh yeah, yeah that, that's... It's very expensive. She looks very somber. Kind of, she looks sad. She looks down at, at uh, the, the desk on your feet in front of you. She says, a long time ago, not too long. Our leader. She was the one that took her of our group. Yes. Her name was Ndalia. She was a, a Lamia, a snake person. 
as some would say. And she was kind. She was the keeper of her books. And she collected them, taught us knowledge from the books. Did, did, did she get blown up by a fireball? She was slain by adventurers, much like yourselves. Ah, and it was the guys from the cart, of course. For no reason at all. She was not like others of her kind. She only took care of us. After she died, we had nothing. Only some handfuls of books. But she did teach us, teach me a certain magic spell to summon the weave and bind spirits to make copies of these books and take their form. And we've been selling these books to, to collectors. Though they were fake, they were extremely- They just don't last very long. They were supposed to last for the life of the, the purchaser, but some magic in Kadoki must have disturbed their form. When they get so you given to the library, I guess. Probably. Fake books that have spirits in them. And now Candlekeep has a magic that's releasing these demon books. Like, Got the books right? arriving at, at Candlekeep was never the part of the plan. Well, okay. yeah, but that's well, like part of the reality, man. Like, you, you guys gotta stop doing this. Like, I know you need money, but like... Butterfly effect, have you heard of that? Like, y it wasn't your intent, but now like people are getting hurt. We, all, we must do everything we can to to bring Natalia back. Dude, do you understand. think that like, she would like, you said that she's like different than all the other Lamia, right? Do you, do you think that she would want people getting hurt to bring her back then? But and there if must she be would- some way to, to, to get this money to bring her back. Well, like, what are you good at? Why not go after have. the adventurers? No, this is never all you have. Yeah, you can go work in the fields if you have to. Like, I mean, that's probably not going to be, like, like, good enough, but, like, what else do you guys do? Like, how many of you are there? Yeah, I have nothing but scraps. You have no skills, no. You can sell books. You're good at that. Yeah, Why like, don't you buy other stuff and sell it? Like, you've got, like, all these books and you didn't learn anything? We we can, but... Wait, wait, can you make we, scrolls? We are, cannot stay in one location for long. Why is that? Why? She, um, she swallows hard, and she says, because of this. Uh-oh. And she lowers her arms to her sides, and her limbs became extremely long. She, her snout grows forward, uh, grows long in length, and she reveals that, um... She's like a, a a long, lanky canine. She's a jackal wear. Mm. She like, says, we have all been cursed like this. Mm. Nadalia was the only one that took kindness upon us. Got it. That's terrible. So wait, okay, are you guys hurting people though? No, no, of course not. Can I if you wanted to roll? kill and steal, we probably would have gotten the. You'd probably thousand. be doing a lot better. Yeah. I'd like but to make an choice, insight good check. Good choice. Sure. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. I got a five. Uh, <laughs> You're like they're yeah. good. Seems like she's telling the truth. Oh, this is so heartbreaking. Why are you so obs like obsessing over someone whose story is over? I mean, like, why don't you go out and make your own? I mean, this. What was her name again? Nadalia. Nadalia. N Nadalia's gone off and, 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 and done died. And that's that's most unfortunate. She did not just die, she was killed. Whatever. She like see the thing is, she's gone. Nothing can really bring her back. You adventurers will know nothing of the compassion that she had. You kill for money. You're well, nothing but brutes. Okay, but why aren't you going and being compassionate for other people? 
Like, shouldn't that be the thing that you'd be doing? Like, instead of just dwelling on about this Nadalia. Yeah, person? like you're you guys are like jackalwares, you said, right? That that makes you you said that you 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 don't have any skills, but you can copy books and you can read and you all know sorts of all sorts of magic stuff and that like you have no like abilities or or, or anything like that but you can turn into a jackware which means that you actually could be some pretty powerful adventurers and go fight like bad monsters like That's why the hell what are I was you going to say yeah. Oh. yeah why are you adventurers like you you guys are like lycanthropes right so that means that you heal super well but We're you could also paid to deal with this yeah you like you could go and be heroes and then, like, turn the way that people see jackalwares around. You people will never mm -hmm. see the way we do. I think you're just myopic. She My shakes what? her head. She says, "We've seen enough blood bloodshed for enough for multiple lifetimes." Like, That's fair. I can respect pacifism. <laughs> I mean, but I like I don't think that you're gonna be a pacifist. Like I think that like if we come to a disagreement in here, you're gonna try to attack us and then like we're not doing any type of aggression toward you, but I like I am getting this kind of like vibe in the air with you like kinda of, like, you know, partially shape shifting that like this is gonna be like a thing. And like She says excuse me, and then she she reaches uh her arms to her chest and then she slowly begins to reform. She says Oh, okay, well that's a little better. Yeah. That's yep. Where is the like, suggestion? Like, why don't you go work? Here. Go why to not? Candlekeep. Why don't you go to Candlekeep and just live yeah. and work there? That's You've got all the skills there. Like they books. love people That's like an you. Idea. Which... Then what you can wait. Then do not if there's any more the demon curse. books, you well, can like... fight the demon books. There has got to be a market for well-made copies of books, as long as you tell people in advance not to take them to Candlekeep. Roll persuasion. Ooh, nat 20. Nat 20. Ooh. Wow. There it, it is. There it is. Perhaps. But if you can sm tell people and spread the word that we sell books here of rare, albeit copy, copy books. Books you can't get anywhere else. Perhaps we can find some purchasers who will know of the full story. We are still 400 gold pieces short. You'll have enough in no time. Hey, I've, I'll buy one off you. There's a rare book I want that I can't buy. Hmm. So like- Or maybe like 10. But they're not like real books. They're real books as long as you don't take them to Candlekeep. As yeah, long we gotta as go the weave around them is not disturbed. But they we gotta will... go back to Candlekeep hmm. to, like, get the money. Fair. Well, we just don't bring it into the library. We leave it at the inn or something. What will you do now? Will you tell the the watch, the flaming fist about of us? I don't see well, why we need to. Yeah, like, like, yeah there's no reason. If you're not putting out dangerous books, then there's no reason. And it doesn't seem that you were doing this under. But like, you've you got to figure know. out exactly what it is that makes them dangerous, so you know how to prevent yeah, it. Yeah, because now you know. Now you're at fault for if you continue to put out these potentially harmful books. Before you didn't realize you were, but now you know that there's a problem and you need to fix it. Well, and you didn't take any books from Candlekeep and steal them, right? No. Of course not. So Candlekeep shouldn't actually be mad at you because it's not your fault that the books ended up in there. So if you go to talk to Candlekeep, like this is a really rare ability. I'm sure that they probably pay you for it, like to to like teach them the technique. You could probably get like, you know, four or five hundred gold out of I, it. I, unfortunately, I cannot teach anyone the spell. I was put under a gay spell well, can by you... Nadalia. Doesn't that, does it work after she's gone? Roll, uh, Arcana. <laughs> How much money would it take just to remove that spell? Well, that's also, a, uh... once she's back, she's back, right? A like, five. Or... A five. You're not sure. She says she made it... She somehow made it work. I cannot tell anyone of the spell. Man, I hate it when people just, like, make things work. Wait, 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 wait hold on a second. You can't tell anyone of this, but you told us. 
No, no how I think they get like teach them, it. right? Like yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Can you like do it in front of us? It takes many hours. Well, I'm like not going anywhere, man. Like I'll even cook dinner. Ooh. Roll persuasion. Um, okay, with all of the, the books that we've read and collected about the weave and everything, um, can, can, like, is there, like, can I research or, like, try to find a way to prevent the weave from thingamajigging and or forest fires. causing trouble? It'd probably trouble? take many, it'd probably take, like, years of research. Okay, so there's no easy answer. Yeah. Got it. Uh, she says, I do not feel comfortable practicing our this art in front of strangers. Well, I mean, that's fair, I guess. Yes. Would there not be possibly a, a book at Candlekeep that could um, explain how to remove the curse upon your people? I bu- we've accepted who, are we, who we are now. We're not looking to remove well, the lycanthropy. Just want to live your life in peace. That's fair. Well, I mean, like... I, I guess well, that, this like, sounds like a good plan to me. I think you should, or like, yeah, become adventurers, make a lot of money by hunting other monsters. Or I'll just you my word. they don't want to fight. They just want to make books. Just make books. I give you my word that, that we will no longer sell these books to just anyone without giving them the full story. Sounds my insight. Be. Sure. Why are you in such a hurry anyway? It's not like she's going anywhere. Well, I guess they probably just want to like get it back soon, right? 18. Like... Yeah. 18? Yeah. Seems like she's telling the truth. Okay. She says, but you must help us find the proper clients to sell these to. If, if we sell them to just anyone, knowing what these books truly are, they may use them for their own malicious ends. Well, that would pay really well. No, 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 no. <laughs> it would. I'm just saying. It would pay really well, but, you know. You know what else is probably paying really well? Candlekeep. Hmm. Like, Lots of I, options. I, I think we've given you plenty of suggestions on how to approach it's, this thing. Like, I don't dilemma. see how it's really our any problem anymore. I, I think we've solved what's going on. <laughs> I say we go back to Candlekeep, fill them in, and then I'm sorry, you gotta kinda sort out what you're doing on your own. Well, as long as we leave them in peace, yeah. I don't see that there's anything that hey, we, we need were told to, to, to do. Yeah, we were told to solve the mystery, right? Yes, yeah, but we didn't take, have like, to do anything about it. Like even yeah. even with Rush, they like you'll have like almost three weeks by the time they get here to get out of here if you're worried. Yeah. If we get word that Candlekeep is looking for us, we will disappear. You shouldn't have to, though. If you're like, just like they're probably peaceful. It's not like Candlekeep is like a bunch of assassins or anything. They didn't like send us to kill you. They just sent us to figure out what the heck was going on with those books. Yeah, they were they, just worried because their books were attacking people. Like, they that's just want to not for be them. murdered their by their books. A they love yeah. their books. They just wanted sure. to make sure that, like, you know, they're, they're it's a not lending gonna library, happen. not a rending library. <laughs> that was terrible. Nice yeah, one. That's pretty bad. Thank you. That was I like bad. that one. That was good yeah. one, Rishley. Yeah. If you bring word to Candlekeep for us, then maybe we can work something out. Yeah, I'd be happy to. If they mm-hmm. can lend us maybe 400 gold pieces. Hmm? Well, we yeah. can ask. Yeah. <laughs> we'll ask we for ask. 450 for you. I've I've heard like and a scholarly like types like selling books before. If you can make a copy of any book, right? Like even if it's only They'd a temporary love one. You. I'm sure there's all sorts of people who pay tons for that. Like I don't get it, but I get it. If you mm-hmm. bring this message to them, then that that is acceptable. Acceptable. If we oh, get right. Medalia back, then this will all have been worth it. Perfect. I'm sorry to have caused so much trouble for you and Candlekeep. Well, that's, that's okay. okay. It, it's yeah. you honestly didn't know that that was going to be in effect. Now you know, so it, it's okay now. We get yeah. paid, no blood in battle. What's wrong with that? That's perfect. Did you guys I mention mean, that you I knew want, I want who glory. killed who killed Natalia? Like yeah. you, you said that out of character, or did you say that in character? No, we said that in character. I said, I, no, we were talking that we okay. met a group of people who who did it. 
Yeah. We said, and like, oh, I was like, oh, it's the guy, the guys in the cart. Yeah, yeah that's we what said we said. Do you want to roll insight? Yeah. All of us? Oh. Yeah. Well, that's a big fat oh, four that I rolled. Oh, that's shoot. a 19. Nice. 12, nice. 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 eight. Rishi, you get a, a sense that she's, for a moment, when she, you guys did mention the adventures, she she had just a, a twinge of the eye, uh, like she was gritting her teeth for a moment. And she says, um, before you leave, who did you say these adventurers were? Uh, well, I thought you didn't want any blood, man. I didn't, but... Uh, what do we remember? Does Wolfen remember their names? I I don't remember I don't if they were mentioned we, or not. But we know where they were going. Look, but you could just describe them if want you wanted. To tell them yeah, totally. Well, Wolfen will be like, it's this guy and this guy, and he the mage like was he bragging like that he says the mage says, was bragging killed her with killed her with a fireball. Thank you. But like seriously, man. Like if you go off and do that, then like you'll just be killers too. And you will have that bad reputation. Yeah, don't, like, become the monster that they say you are. Also, if you're dead, you can't bring her back. And prove them wrong. Roll persuasion. I would like to assist with a lot of... Yeah, that's right! Someone assist me, roll the five. Hmm. You have advantage. You have advantage oh, yes. to roll it again. Roll again. Not 20! Yeah! There you go. <laughs> Those she... yeah's really helped there. Yeah! <laughs> Peace! <laughs> Yeah, she's right. What she said is right. Um, this she cat knows what's eases up. eases a little bit, and she says, perhaps you're right. This would be everything against Nadali's memory. Right? Evelyn and then even if you brought it. her back, people would come hunting for you again. True. Once we, if Kendall Keep can help us, and once we get to Nadalia back, we will find some other way of living and not bother anyone anymore. That sounds great. Good to me. Let's go extort money out of Candle Keep. Yeah, right. that sounds good. Off yeah. you go. And sandwiches. Rat sandwiches. Mm. So you guys well, go back, head back to uh, Candle Keep. Nothing better than rat sandwiches. Yep. Yes. Okay. All right, so heading back to Candle Keep. So you arrive back another 10 days of travel. Oh, you arrive back. Oh, it took even longer this time. I know, right? Uh, you, you were set upon by an owl bear and her cub. Oh. And, uh, do, do we make it our pet? You you, you made a friend. Yay! Oh, nice. That's, That's uh, my favorite. Back in Candle Keep, you meet up with the sage. He says, so what have you found? Tell him everything. Okay. You uh, divulge the entire story uh, to what she says. Uh, we've cleared the libraries and the archives of any uh, remaining books that we have any suspicions of. It's good to know where they were coming from. We will be in, on the lookout for any future books that come through our borders. There's got to be a way to detect them once you know what it is. We hope so, at least. Hmm. You should, like, reach out to them and, like, try to help them out. Well, no. Yeah, like 400 yeah, gold. Yeah, 400 no, I would gold like to literally make an life. offer that yeah? I'm quite certain that um, for the low, low price of 400 gold, they would well, teach you how how to um, it, detect these books. Yes. Or, like, if 450 yes. is too high, let's just say, like, 420. A makeup persuasion check. But the DC is 18. Not 20. Not 20. Not 20. Not 20. Nope. 12. 12? Not 12. He says, as much as we feel for these. Do you tell them that? Like, you told them the full story, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I think so. As, as unfortunately, from what you've told me, there's nothing that Candlekeep can do for these jackal wares. 
But they could help you is the point. Yeah, like it could be like yeah, a symbiotic relationship, man. I'm sure they're not the... the only ones who can do this. I'm sure also, you might need really more information about it in the future. Copying books, don't you need like copies of like really rare books that maybe shouldn't be touched and open? I'm gonna lot? like um, list off a couple of the books that they had just yeah. to okay. see if I can peek their in. Peek and, and like, like seriously, Whoa. like when we were trying Inside to figure this everyone. out, you were like so behind on your records. We had to just kind of go on a wing and a prayer. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, you were a natural twenty. Natural like everybody point? was complaining about like the oh, bureaucracy sorry, around here. If you had somebody helping out with like the record keeping and the copying, like things could really shape up around here. I'm sure Kendall keep eighteen <laughs> make do oh. without them. And when he when he says them, Evelyn, you you get the sense of uh, yeah, mm. of this this yeah. um bigotry that's seeping through um. his his words, and he says. I'm sure with given enough time, Candle Keep will detect them with no problems at all. As for these people, it's better they stay out of Candle Keep's borders. Thank you for your service. You will be well comp compensated. Hmm. Here's your helmet that was promised to you, hmm. and an extra 50 gold. Like, like each, or like? For the collective five of you. All right, and our, our food. Your food then will be made uh, available to you at such and such tavern. Yeah, oh, the such and such is a good place. I've been there before. Almost as good as the whatchamacallit. Oh, and the whatchamacallit's not not that good. Their their burgers are a little undercooked and the fries are always a little too crispy, like not in the good way. You always get like the fry runoff. But the mm. such and such is good because they have the such and such soup and salad. Perfect. Yeah, but whatchamacallit has that really good hangover food, though. When you've had oh, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got to go for the breakfast. You got the helmet. Watch We've it. got the helmet. Is How much is this helmet go. worth? That's my question. Yeah. Uh, the helmet is worth uh, quite a bit. I, I'd have to take a look at the the conversion table. Guys, for... <laughs> like we could like... We could like sell the helmet and split the proceeds with them. Wait until we're out of earshot of the of the. Wait, 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 yeah, I was gonna say wait. after we. Well, I was I was I was kind of assuming okay. this was after, after we left. Yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. Okay. So, uh, like two uh, things. things. What does the helmet do? And oh, Not sorry, for you just say goodbye. Oh, is geez. it translating helmet? Yeah. Tra translating what? Anything. Language. Like words. Comprehend <laughs> language. Oh hell yeah! Let's sell this language. thing. <laughs> Yeah, you only speak the one language, right? Violence? No, I speak Orcish. Oh, okay, so violent, violence and Orcish. Sleep. It's the oh, same thing. Oh, no, I get along great with orcs. But what? Oh, don't say such thing. Orcs are orcs are quite, quite nice creatures. Oh, they have great stories too. I love orc tales. Yeah, oh, they're great. <laughs> and yeah, that's the game. All right, we did it. Woo! Hey. Up to the bottom of things. Good job, everyone. We saved the books. We, we saved, saved the books. The How much is that worth? Except is that the enough? ones we killed. Save is that enough that we like the, have? The... We could probably we probably get like several thousand gold from selling this, right? The comprehended comprehend languages for. Oh, we'll be that high. It's that a, it's like an a uncommon lot. item. There's... I think common uncommon items are worth only like a hundred or two. Like under, oh, under really? damn, 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 damn. That's a good yeah. starting point mm -hmm. for someone who only needs 400 gold. For, like, for sec, for sec, second level characters? Yeah. That's pretty good. Um, we'll see if we can sell that. Cool. We did it, guys. Hey. Hey. All right. Hey, wait, thank you so much for running this episode, man. I really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. It's yeah. really fun. Yeah. Did you Thanks have fun? Playing, guys. I had a lot of fun. I hope you I guys had a lot of fun, it. too. I'm yeah. looking forward to the next one you're running. Sweet. Which I, for, I forget. Which one is it? What's the next one you're doing? Oh, I'd have to take a look at the the, the spreadsheet, spreadsheet we made spreadsheet again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what did you change in this one? I'm really curious. And yeah. what did uh, what did you dislike about running it? What did I you like and what did fine. you dislike? Yeah. Yeah, pros cons. Give us a pros uh, and cons. Like my, yeah. you've run the, you've played um, uh, my mystery game. So I, I'm more yeah. like into like the mystery of like and people figuring things out. Whereas yeah. these are kind of more like straightforward adventures. Yeah. Uh, the things that I added was uh, they were led by Nadalia, who was a Lamy that was killed by adventures, but the adventure never had you really meet the adventures that killed her. So ah. I wanted to introduce See, adventures. Honestly, I got I got I got to say, like that little touch right there, 
um, made the entire thing m feel like a Book full ended, circle. Like you basically. really yeah. did a good job yeah. with that with that narrative. Because like if it had just it's... been some adventurers killed, like I wouldn't have given two craps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's too. like, oh yeah. yeah oh, like, actually, especially when you have you to remember someone. stuff cool. from in the beginning when you're not paying attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted you to like meet someone who who felt innocuous and just a, as a way for you to tell about your glories and stuff. But then circle back and be like, oh, those those friendly guys were maybe not so friendly. <laughs> I mean, they're friendly to us because they're not exactly. Oh, they're not racist to us. They're just racist to wear jack wears. Jack and that's that's why I want I wanted to. They're uh, so lame, yeah. I wanted to Ooh. have like the whole not everything's uh, like is what appears it applies to the books that transforms ah, monsters. that was cute but mm. also like monster creatures that are not so evil that's mm -hmm. really cute mm -hmm. um, so Amy was unable to play tonight Amy was originally going to play um, um, Luella Von Zarovich um, and they're just saying in the chat that they are looking forward to playing in your next game way so hopefully that'll be a lot of fun awesome yeah I can't wait to have everyone again all right. So and I can't wait to play it in your games. It's going to be great. It's yeah, going to be, be great. Um, so I guess that's going to be it for tonight. So thank you so much for tuning into Candlekeep Mysteries. Hope you, you enjoyed this. We'll see you later. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.